Chapter 361 White Jade Soul Grass Translator Born to be a heaven-shaking battle, Long Chen involuntarily felt some interest. Lu Fang Er nodded. Three days ago, within a mountain valley outside the forest of darkness, your Zhuanshan Supermonastery's number one expert, Han Shian Ayu, fought an intense battle with another man. That was truly a heaven-shaking, earth-shattering battle. Although it had been three days, that scene was still deeply imprinted in Lu Fang Er's mind. Han Shian Ayu fought with someone? Was it Yun Luo? asked Long Chen. Lu Fang Er shook her head. It wasn't Yun Luo. That man was wearing a cloak, and what I could see of his face was pretty handsome. His lower chin was a bit round. I think he called himself Mo Nian. Long Chen couldn't help blurting out. Yes, he called himself Mo Nian. What an odd name. Wait, you know him? Were you also there? asked Lu Fang Er. I wasn't there. Of the people who can fight on the same level as Han Shian Ayu, and who also like that kind of attire, perhaps he is the only one. However, Long Chen felt curious. Although Mo Nian liked to fight, why would he fight with Han Shian Ayu in the Jiuli secret realm, where danger was lurking on every side? How did they start fighting? He asked. I don't know. But Mo Nian was continuously cursing Han Shian Ayu for being an idiot. He said something about how he had never worn a mask and he would disdain doing any shady, shameful business. There was also something about hurting his dog sheep brother? I don't really know. Lu Fanger's expression was a bit odd. In her eyes, a person like Han Shian Ayu was a high and lofty existence who wouldn't easily talk with anyone else. But that man had been on the same level as him, a top expert. But he had actually wildly cursed Han Shian Ayu, something which should have been beneath his dignity. So she found it particularly bizarre. A mask. Long Chen's expression stiffened as he thought of a certain something. It couldn't have been because of that, right? Calculating the time, it seemed that their battle had happened after the time he had worn a mask and almost played Han Shian Feng to death. Later, Han Shian Feng had used his teleportation talisman to flee at a critical moment, while Long Chen had never taken off his mask during that time. Later, when he was provoked by a group of corrupt disciples, he had led an army of magical beasts to slaughter over half of them. The corrupt chosen had told him to tell them his name. He had then extremely flashily left behind Mo Nian's name for them. Now hearing about this battle from Lu Fang Er, he could immediately think of what had happened. There had definitely been someone who had recorded his dramatic self-introduction. Who knew what divine channels Han Shian Feng had in order to learn that the masked man had been Mo Nian. Most likely he had sent out an arrest warrant for Mo Nian. At the same time, this news must have also reached Han Shian Ayu. For a genius on Han Shian Ayu's level, being able to fight with a genius on the same level as him was definitely extremely exciting, and he had definitely heard of Mo Nian's name before. With how much Mo Nian enjoyed being in the spotlight, he would never hide his whereabouts. Adding on the first monastery's vast number of followers and spies, as well as their special communication abilities, finding Mo Nian wouldn't be difficult. Reaching that point in his thoughts, Long Chen's expression became odd. It seemed that after he had messed around, it was Mo Nian who had taken the blame. Do you know Mo Nian? Asked Lu Fang Er. Yes, I know him. We can count as friends. After all, Mo Nian had already received a gift from him. That leg he had given him was definitely enough to make them friends. Right? Even if Mo Nian learned the truth, he wouldn't actually get angry. Right? Long Chen, I am really unable to understand you. How did you manage to become friends with someone on that level? Praised Lu Fang Er. This was what it meant for birds of a feather to flock together. The stronger a person was, the less friends they had by their side. That was because those that could be friends with them had to have a corresponding strength themselves. A horse does not share the same trough as sheep. A phoenix does not fly with sparrows. Those who were not on the same level were unable to become true friends. For Long Chen to say that they could count as friends meant that he had a strength that Mo Nian looked favorably upon. Even if he wasn't on the same level as Mo Nian, he was definitely not far off. That's right. What was the final result? Who won? Long Chen cared more about the result. Previously, Mo Nian had fought an intense battle with Yun Luo. Once he had gone home and went into seclusion, it was unknown how much his strength had advanced. The two of them fought a shocking battle. The ground for many miles collapsed and all the mountains in the vicinity were razed to the ground. It was an incredibly fierce battle. However, neither of them used their full strength. I guess they were just testing out their opponent. Han Shian Ayu had very likely been looking for a pretext just to appraise Mo Nian ever since entering the secret realm. 
The two of them only fought for an hour, and neither of them managed to get an advantage over the other. From the way they fought, it seemed they had too many misjivings, and they didn't bring out their true fighting strength. In the end, Han Shian Iu said he would settle this debt with Mo Nian later, while Mo Nian furiously cursed Han Shian Iu for being shameless, and that if he wasn't convinced, they could have a real fight. Han Shian Iu was also infuriated, but he still endured. After a couple sneers, he left. Once he left, Mo Nian cursed repeatedly for a while before also leaving. He said something about being unlucky to run into a mental case. Towards the end, Lu Fanger began to cover her mouth since she was laughing, feeling that for a genius on his level to openly curse someone like that was extremely funny. As for Long Chen, he wasn't able to laugh. If Mo Nian learned that it was Long Chen who had set him up in secret, then Long Chen really didn't dare be sure that he wouldn't turn hostile. However, Long Chen also wasn't afraid of him. If he really was shameless enough to turn hostile against him, then he had better hand over that leg first. Let's stop talking about that. Since I've run into you, we should team up. With you here to protect me, I'll definitely feel much more at ease. Laughed Lu Fanger. She intimately pulled on Long Chen's arm. Long Chen's expression stiffened slightly. Lu Fanger was also a rare beauty. It was just that by always being beside Men Qi, she was naturally eclipsed. But that didn't change the fact she was also a beauty that could only be found every thousand miles. Having such a beauty holding his arm, Long Chen couldn't help having his heart pound quicker, and his face was feeling warmer and warmer. When Lu Fanger sensed that change in Long Chen, she laughed mischievously. I really like your current expression. He, this means you haven't been completely corrupted. If you had appeared all natural, I really would have to carefully interrogate you. Long Chen felt an urge to both laugh and cry. It seemed Lu Fanger was still playing the role of Men Qi's top advisor. He would definitely have to be a bit more careful around her. He, you'll have to learn to become accustomed to this. Men Qi and I are the best of sisters, and we swore to never part. So if you want to marry Men Qi, you'll have to bring me along and marry me as well. Lu Fanger put on an expression of not caring either way, but there was clearly some nervousness deep within her eyes. There was also such a good thing for me? Then it seems I really did profit, laughed Long Chen. Long Chen could sense that after he laughed. That nervousness in Lu Fanger's eyes diminished a great deal. It seems Lu Fanger wasn't as free and careless as she showed. To Long Chen, Lu Fanger was one of those little sister like people. She had a kind heart, touched with some mischievousness, which made her easy to approach and become friends with. Let's go deeper into the forest of darkness. With you by my side, I'll feel much safer. Lu Fanger pulled Long Chen, jumping onto the golden scaled bull's back. Long Chen thought for a moment and decided to return Little Snow to his spiritual space. He could clearly sense that in Little Snow's presence, Lu Fanger's magical beasts felt extreme terror. The two third-rank magical beasts opened the path, while the two-tail spirit cat was guarding its back. On their way, they went past that corrupt chosen's corpse, and Long Chen found his spatial ring. Little Snow's attack had been extremely powerful, and could easily destroy a spirit ring. The fact that this spirit ring was still intact meant its quality was quite high. Putting away the spatial ring, they continued deeper into the forest of darkness. Beast tamers have one advantage within forests. With magical beasts by your side, the pressure they release will scare away most of the poisonous insects. But a human, no matter how powerful, is unable to scare away those bugs, and will constantly be attacked, explained Lu Fanger from Adopt the Bull. Those poisonous wild insects were unable to sense pressure from humans, but they were extremely sensitive towards the pressure released by magical beasts. After learning that, Long Chen couldn't help cursing himself for being stupid and not thinking of that before. If he had known that and summoned out Little Snow at the beginning, he wouldn't have had to travel so carefully and slowly. Wait a moment, that is a white jade water vine. Long Chen suddenly called out, jumping off towards a large tree. Beside that tree was an odd vine that was completely white like jade. What kind of use does such a vine have? I've seen it before, and when I cut it apart, all that's inside is some clear water. The medicinal energy within it isn't high. Lu Fanger was puzzled. She had already confirmed that this vine didn't have any value. The jade white water vine itself doesn't have any value, but where it grows, it's very likely for something else to grow along with it. Oh, it really is here. Long Chen's eyes brightened. Not far from the vine was an unremarkable little plant only the size of a palm. Little yellow flowers grew out of it. This is called white jade soul grass. It's an extremely rare medicinal ingredient that can nourish the soul. I can refine a soul nourishing pill from it. 
but it won't be as good as the soul nourishing pill I sent Menki back then. However, its effect is still pretty good. So in a bit, I can help you refine a soul nourishing pill as well. Then, wouldn't that be too precious? Lu Fanger couldn't help feeling a bit embarrassed. Soul nourishing pills were incredibly expensive. The main thing was that their ingredients were too rare. Even in the Wind Spirit Pavilion, which was filled with soul cultivators, there were few people who had an opportunity to consume a soul nourishing pill. In fact, other than Menki, only the pavilion master's son, Feng Ziaozi, had had the chance to consume one. Furthermore, that was something the pavilion master had spent a great deal of effort to obtain. Soul nourishing pills were just too difficult to obtain. Even with money, it was difficult to obtain them. So Lu Fanger was incredibly moved when she heard Long Chen would refine one for her. Didn't you say you're always with Men Qi? Since Men Qi has had one, you can't be treated unfairly. Right, laughed Long Chen. Lu Fanger reddened. She helped excavate the white jade soul grass with Long Chen. Long Chen once more made some space in his life ring for it. The two of them continued forward. With magical beasts by their side, it was much more relaxed. Long Chen spent his time searching for traces of rare medicinal ingredients. Suddenly, an angry roar rang out as they were traveling. Lu Fanger's magical beasts immediately stopped. Chapter 362 Scarlet Blaze Lion Translator Born to be following that angry roar, the trees in the distance trembled, and a huge figure appeared in front of Long Chen and Lu Fanger. That was a huge lion covered in red flames and over a hundred meters long. Its eyes were circular, and it was currently roaring at them, warning the magical beasts that this was its territory. The powerful pressure coming from it caused Lu Fanger's magical beasts to involuntarily retreat. Scarlet Blaze Lion, both Long Chen and Lu Fanger let out a startled cry. The latter's cry was filled with excitement. As for Long Chen, he felt a bit of pity. He also viewed the Scarlet Blaze Lion importantly. More accurately, he viewed its need and importantly. This was a fire attribute magical beast and its need and contained its beast flame. Its beast flame was ranked 67th on the beast flame rankings. It was much, much stronger than Long Chen's flame salamander beast flame. However, Long Chen knew that this scarlet blaze lion had no affinity with him. Just from Lu Fanger's fanatical expression, he knew she wanted it. Even if he cultivated his skin for a thousand years, he wouldn't be so shameless as to fight over such a thing with a woman. What should we do Long Chen? This Scarlet Blaze Lion has only just matured, and so it's only at the early 4th rank, but its combat ability is definitely not inferior to a mid-4th rank magical beast. Even if all my magical beasts worked together, they wouldn't necessarily be able to forcibly subdue it. Lu Fanger felt a bit powerless. The Scarlet Blaze Lion's fame was renowned, and any tendon transformation realm beast tamer would turn scarlet-eyed for it, but to subdue such a powerful magical beast required a vast soul energy. Furthermore, you had to be constantly worried of the magical beast rebelling or trying to escape the spiritual binds. She wasn't an idiot like senior apprentice brother Ki. Trying to subdue Little Snow in front of Long Chen had really just been asking for death. In normal circumstances, when beast tamers attempted to capture a magical beast, they had to first injure and subdue the magical beast, making it lose the ability to run first. Then with their housepits protecting them, they would place their spiritual imprint on the magical beast. But this Scarlet Blaze Lion was too powerful. There was a high chance that it would be able to kill all of Lu Fanger's current magical beasts, and then even escape in the end. That was definitely the worst case scenario. So Lu Fanger was out of ideas and could only ask Long Chen for help. Let me handle it. You all retreat a bit. Long Chen smiled while his heart dripped blood from the loss. However, he didn't say anything. His wish to obtain the Scarlet Blaze Lion was stifled within him. Jumping off the bull, he slowly walked over to the Scarlet Blaze Lion. The Scarlet Blaze Lion let out an angry growl when it saw this insignificant little creature ignore its warning and step into its territory. What are you growling about? To run into Lu Fanger is your blessing. Long Chen was already resentful inside. If he could refine this Scarlet Blaze Lion's beast flame, then his pill refining speed would increase greatly. Nowadays. Almost all his three flower connecting tendon pills had already been used up. However, he didn't have enough time to go refine more medicinal pills. Now seeing a powerful beast flame in front of him, but not being able to gather it, he was already irritated. Seeing this fellow angrily roar at him, his fury would have to be released on it. The Scarlet Blaze Lion once more roared, its roar shaking the forest. Its flame-colored fur stood on end, clearly showing that it had already reached the end of its patience. 
Long Chen ignored that and continued walking forward. Even Lu Fang'er felt her heart clutch. That was a Scarlet Blaze Lion, an existence whose combat ability wouldn't be inferior to any tendon transformation realm chosen. Furthermore, flame attribute magical beasts inherently possessed a greater destructive power than average. She couldn't help feeling nervous. The Scarlet Blaze Lion no longer held back. It rushed forward like a red meteorite. Its speed was incredible, and its aura was like a heavy mountain. The entire ground trembled because of it. Lu Fang'er felt a chill. Her magical beasts truly couldn't compare to it, and would run the risk of dying at any moment if they fought with it. Although she had long since expected it to be powerful, she had still not imagined it would be so terrifying. Just that speed was enough to make it so no one could react. It had already reached Long Chen, swatting down with a claw. Its huge claw smashed into the ground, releasing a terrifying wave of ki. The surrounding trees were all blown to pieces. The area around them for hundreds of meters had been turned into level ground. Lu Fang'er was shocked. She couldn't even tell where Long Chen had gone when she heard an explosive shout. Rise. A huge figure soared into the sky. Lu Fang'er was shocked to see that it was the Scarlet Blaze Lion. It continuously flipped in the air. It was obvious it had been thrown up there. Suddenly, Long Chen's figure appeared in midair and a brick appeared in his hand, which he smashed down heavily on the Scarlet Blaze Lion's huge head. It let out a mournful cry and shot back down, smashing into the ground. A huge crater instantly formed. When Long Chen slowly landed in front of it, the Scarlet Blaze Lion had already lost consciousness. Lu Fang'er was covering her mouth, filled with shock. She couldn't believe her eyes. Such a powerful Scarlet Blaze Lion had been easily subdued. Looking over at its huge, unconscious body, Lu Fang'er was speechless. An unconscious magical beast should be easier to place a spiritual imprint on, said Long Chen. Only then did she react and excitedly walk over to its body. Forming hand seals in front of her, a strange mark appeared in the air. That was the same technique as the one senior apprentice brother Ki had used. That was a slave character, and it was also known as a slave imprint. The mark slowly descended onto the Scarlet Blaze Lion's head and disappeared. Its unconscious body trembled and it suddenly let out an angry roar. This was an instinctive struggle against the spiritual imprint. Its four limbs randomly swung out, and it rolled back and forth. But it was already unconscious. Now that the slave imprint had already reached its soul, it was too late for it to resist. Even if it awoke now, it still wouldn't be able to resist the powerful spiritual imprint. Unless it managed to escape outside the range of Lu Fang'er's soul energy, it would have to obediently be subdued. Lu Fang'er's soul energy was clearly not as powerful as senior apprentice brother Qi's. Even with Long Chen's assistance, she still required almost two hours before the Scarlet Blaze Lion stopped struggling. She then placed a strand of her spiritual strength and branded it into the depths of the Scarlet Blaze Lion's soul. That way she could easily control it in the future. If it dared resist, then with just a thought, her spiritual strength would make its soul disperse. Furthermore, branded magical beasts all felt an innate fear towards their masters from the depths of their souls, and they wouldn't dare resist. That was also why despite knowing they would be facing dangers, they didn't dare disobey their master's orders. Their lives were constantly in the hands of their masters. With a single thought from their master, they could be made to die. Excellent. With this Scarlet Blaze Lion, I won't have to fear ordinary chosen. Lu Fang'er was filled with excitement. Previously she had fallen into disadvantage against that corrupt chosen. If she had had this powerful Scarlet Blaze Lion at that time, then the results would probably have been reversed. Even if she couldn't have killed him, she would still have forced him into a miserable state. This lion's definitely very powerful. It's just that it didn't have a chance to display its full strength before I knocked it unconscious. Otherwise, it would have required much more effort. Long Chen nodded. How could an existence ranked 67th on the Beast Flame rankings be lacking? It was precisely because Long Chen had known it would be difficult to handle that he had gone all out to subdue it at the beginning. If he had waited for it to realize how strong he was, which would cause it to release its life flame, then even if he could subdue it, it would have been much more troublesome. Thank you Long Chen. Lu Fang'er excitedly pulled on Long Chen's hand. Long Chen laughed and didn't say anything. He knew that to a beast tamer, a powerful magical beast was a life-preserving measure. In the Jiuli secret realm, danger was everywhere, and they could die at any time. To be able to subdue such a powerful magical beast was definitely worthy of celebration. Aya, Long Chen, you really were too vicious. Even its skull was broken by your attack. Lu Fang'er gently patted the Scarlet Blaze Lion's fur with an infatuated expression. However, 
When she saw that a large part of its head had caved in, she couldn't help grumbling. Long Chen was speechless. As expected, women really were capricious. Long Chen very smartly chose to keep his mouth shut. To talk reason with a woman was folly, and Long Chen definitely wouldn't do something like that. He just watched as Lu Fang Er pulled open its mouth and threw in a bottle of healing medicine. Without even looking at it, he could tell from just its scent that those were all low-grade third-tier medicines. Their healing effect would be just average. But having thrown in that many, and adding on a magical beast's innate recovery speed, it should heal very quickly. But what flabbergasted Long Chen was that Lu Fang Er removed her spiritual imprints on her third-rank magical beasts. Those two magical beasts immediately ran far away without even glancing back. Long Chen felt uncomfortable to see that. He didn't like these kinds of methods. They were a bit too heartless. Those were comrades that had fought through life and death battles. But one party was able to easily discard them, while the other party left as if relieved from a heavy burden. There was no trust at all. If those were the only options in terms of companions, then Long Chen would prefer to have no companions at all. But seeing that Lu Fang Er didn't have any reaction, he knew this was just a common, universal situation for beast tamers. He sighed inside. It was no wonder Men Qi had released her magical beasts while still outside the Jiuli secret realm. To magical beasts, being released in such an area was like dropping them into hell. Perhaps other people would be unable to understand Men Qi's actions, but Long Chen could profoundly sense just how kind she was. That made Long Chen pity her even more. Lu Fang Er didn't seem to sense any change at all from Long Chen. She happily put the Scarlet Blaze Lion into her spiritual space, and the two of them continued deeper into the Forest of Darkness. Chapter 363 Justice Warriors? Translator. Born to be sitting on top of the Golden Scaled Bull, the two of them continued deeper into the Forest of Darkness. It seemed what Long Chen wanted to find could only be found in its depths. On the way. Lu Fang Er taught Long Chen a bunch of common knowledge that had to do with being a beast tamer, giving him a more profound understanding of the profession. At the same time, he understood why Lu Fang Er had released her two magical beasts. The truth was that her soul energy was limited, and she was only able to open four spiritual spaces to control a maximum of four magical beasts. If it was just opening spiritual spaces, then Lu Fang Er would be able to open up many more of them. But with her current soul energy, she was unable to control so many magical beasts. If a person ordinarily possessed 100% of their soul energy, then in comparison, she required 99% of her soul energy to control her magical beasts. Without enough soul energy, the slave imprints on her magical beasts would loosen, and then there was no way for her to control them perfectly. If at that time her magical beasts rebelled, they would kill her in order to regain their freedom. Only then did Long Chen realize why it was no wonder magical beasts and their masters felt no trust towards each other, let alone feelings of friendship. It seemed more like they were constantly scheming against each other. From what Lu Fang Er explained, Long Chen began to sympathize with the beast tamer profession. During battle, they wouldn't just need to defend against enemies, but also against rebellion from their own magical beasts. That was definitely tiring. This was why Long Chen and Little Snow's relationship that didn't rely on a spiritual contract, but purely on an emotional and mental connection, had completely shocked Lu Fang Er. However, that kind of life and death trust between the two of them also deeply moved her. But that kind of trust was far too difficult to establish. Whether it was humans or magical beasts, who would be willing to sacrifice their lives and unconditionally entrust their own lives to another? Long Chen. Since you didn't place a spiritual imprint on Little Snow, Little Snow's combatability isn't restricted, and so it is really a good thing. Furthermore, if someone wants to steal Little Snow from you, they would first automatically attempt to remove Little Snow's original spiritual imprint. You aren't a beast tamer, so if you had placed a spiritual imprint, it would have been easily broken by anyone who knew what they were doing. When senior apprentice brother Key saw you were unable to block his spiritual attack, he could easily tell you only knew a few crude soul arts. That was why he wanted to erase your spiritual imprint. When a magical beast's spiritual imprint is erased, the magical beast's soul will receive a heavy impact and it will lose consciousness, losing the ability to resist. At that time, it would be easy to subdue. As they traveled, Lu Fang Er told Long Chen some ordinary knowledge that pertained to beast tamers. From that, Lu Fang Er learned that Long Chen had used the simplest, crudest method to open his spiritual space. She hadn't been able to hold back imparting some foundational techniques to Long Chen. Long Chen was a powerful pill cultivator, 
and his spiritual strength made him strong enough to be a beast tamer. That was why Lu Fanger now went against her sect's rules and secretly taught Long Chen several secret techniques. It had to be known that the Wind Spirit Pavilion kept its secret soul arts under tight wraps. If the sect learned Lu Fanger had done this, she would be harshly punished. Long Chen had not found a single secret manual within Senior Apprentice Brother Key's spatial ring that pertained to soul arts. Just that was enough for Long Chen to guess how closely their sect guarded their soul arts. A sect's secret techniques were that sect's inheritance. Even the Zhuangshan Monastery prevented its disciples from spreading its sect secret techniques. The punishment for breaking that rule was heavy. The Wind Spirit Pavilion's disciples were all soul cultivators, and such cultivators were extremely rare. There were very few manuals pertaining to soul cultivation. So the most basic, crudest soul arts Long Chen had found in the monastery had cost him tens of thousands of points. Although Lu Fanger feigned being relaxed as she taught Long Chen these things, she was unable to conceal her apprehensiveness from Long Chen. Long Chen was extremely grateful for this action of hers. He truly was in great need of this knowledge. Otherwise, even with his powerful spiritual strength, without ways to use it, he would naturally suffer once he met a true expert in that area. According to Lu Fanger, the Wind Spirit Pavilion's soul arts were closely guarded, and even she had only come into contact with some of the more basic ones. There were more profound soul arts that she didn't have the qualifications to train in. Only geniuses like Feng Xiaozi and Men Qi had access to them. But even so, Long Chen had gained a great deal. He was shocked to find there were so many ways to use spiritual strength. On the other hand, Lu Fanger was even more shocked by Long Chen's abnormal comprehension skills. As long as she taught him the circulation method of spiritual strength, Long Chen would easily grasp it. In fact, Long Chen began to bring up theories and understandings that even made Lu Fanger's eyes open wide. Once Long Chen grasped the basics, he would immediately think of other possible tricks that could be used similarly. He proposed concepts that were completely unimaginable to her, and yet, they did seem to correlate to the basic principle she had taught him, but she had never even imagined such things. Long Chen, if I didn't know your background, I would definitely think you had already learned all these soul arts and were just purposely teasing me, sighed Lu Fanger. Long Chen felt some embarrassment. This was his first time coming into contact with true soul arts, and he found them to be all too miraculous and so he had involuntarily begun to come up with all kinds of thoughts. Long Chen had never been the kind of person to stick to the well-established rules and customs. All kinds of wild concepts filled his head. Now some of them had unexpectedly leaked out. He scolded himself for wanting to learn how to run before even learning how to walk. He was definitely overestimating his own abilities. I just like to let my imagination run wild. So don't take offense. You misunderstand. I'm not angry. Your comprehension skills towards soul arts are just too shocking. Although these are all just introductory soul arts for true soul cultivators, the speed at which you comprehend them is terrifying. It feels like quite a blow to me, laughed Lu Fanger a bit bitterly. These introductory soul arts were all foundational techniques that included a wide range of topics involving soul energy. There were ways to nourish, export, control, and erupt out with soul energy. These techniques had required half a year for Lu Fanger to just barely be able to control them. Although Lu Fanger had never viewed herself as being extremely talented, she was still above average in the Wind Spirit Pavilion. Otherwise, she wouldn't have had the qualifications to enter the Jiuli secret realm. And yet, in front of Long Chen, she felt as if her own skills had received a huge blow. Although she knew Long Chen was a pill cultivator and his spiritual strength wouldn't be lacking. Long Chen had only just started learning about this topic. Just his comprehension skills had given her a heavy blow. Was he some kind of genius from legends? There's people ahead. Long Chen had been in the midst of trying to think of a way to change this awkward topic when several figures appeared in front of them. There were a total of four people. One of them was an ordinary core disciple, while the other three were favored. Their auras were extremely stable, making their strength very stable. In front of the four of them lay a huge magical beast. Long Chen was astonished to see that it was a fourth-rank magical beast. Fourth-rank magical beasts were all powerful. From their postures, it was obvious this magical beast had been killed by just the four of them. You don't need to be surprised. That's just a black-toothed porcupine. It's one of the weakest existences amongst fourth-rank magical beasts. It's normal for it to be killed by them, explained Lu Fanger when she saw Long Chen's astonished expression. As a beast tamer, 
Her ability in identifying magical beasts was number one. She would even be able to recognize some magical beasts that only existed in legends just based on their outer form. Furthermore, she not only knew their names, she also knew their ranks, techniques, attacking methods, and weak points. That was the knowledge all beast tamers consumed in preparation for the future. Long Chen hadn't been able to recognize it, but Lu Fanger had seen through it with just a glance. This magical beast was the weakest possible kind of fourth rank magical beast. It couldn't even compare to her two old houseboats, let alone the Scarlet Blaze Lion. The fact that their group was able to kill it without losing a single member definitely meant they weren't weak. But there was nothing overly shocking about it. They had just finished cutting open its head and taking out its crystal core when they suddenly saw Long Chen and Lu Fanger. With Long Chen present, Lu Fanger had no worries about safety. Adopt the Golden Scaled Bull. The two of them were both very safe. Magical beasts that were a lower rank than it would all flee in fright. As for magical beasts on the same level as it, Long Chen would naturally handle them. That little fellow seems to be the person in the photographic jades. The four of them stared closely at the two of them. You're right, it's him. That brat really does have luck with women. Another woman's in his hands. And she's so beautiful. One of the favored swallowed when he saw Lu Fanger's face. They glanced at each other and sinister smiles appeared on their faces. They slowly approached the two of them. Just what kind of person was Long Chen? Just from a look at their gazes, he knew what these idiots were thinking. From their robes, he could see they all came from the same righteous sect but he didn't recognize the particular sect marking on their robes. Seeing the four of them approach them, Lu Fanger ordered her magical beasts to stop. She cautiously looked at the four of them. Four senior apprentice brothers from the cloud returning cave. The two of us only ran into you by chance here. We harbor no malice, the favored at the front replied. Junior apprentice sister, you don't need to be afraid. As fellow members of the righteous path, we definitely won't harm you. We'll rescue you from this pervert's hands. You've misunderstood. I am friends with Long Chen, and we're just exploring. What rescue are you talking about? Long Chen merely sat on the bull's back without saying anything. He just watched as these four people surrounded them, simply smiling slightly from the start. Junior apprentice sister from the Wind Spirit Pavilion, you don't need to be afraid. Although Long Chen is despicable and shameless, vicious and malicious, with the four of us present, he definitely won't be able to harm even a single hair on your head. The head favor then pointed at Long Chen and cursed. Brazen Long Chen, you rape women, and then massacre fellow righteous disciples. Today the four of us will take the place of the heavenly deos to punish you. Do you have anything to say? Don't think the four of us don't know you've seized this woman and are forcing her to speak for you. If you're smart, you'll immediately release this junior apprentice sister. Otherwise, the four of us will have to hack you into a thousand pieces and turn your bones to ashes. Lu Fanger's expression sunk and she icily said, You really are just deliberately provoking us. I've already said we're friends. Why do you keep talking about rescue? Don't be afraid junior apprentice sister. We definitely won't let you be degenerated by this pervert said the favored righteously. As they had conversed, the four of them had been constantly moving. Now there were just 30 meters from the golden scaled bull. Suddenly, one of them shouted. Now, a ball shot out towards the golden scaled bull's head. When it was less than a couple of meters away, it exploded, releasing a yellow powder. A faint smell filled the air. Chapter 364 Yun Wushuang Translator Born to be Lu Fanger had clearly not been expecting the four of them to suddenly attack them. Furthermore, this was clearly all premeditated. They weren't just targeting Long Chen, but both of them. The golden scaled bull they were on collapsed to the ground when that powder hit it. Before Lu Fanger could even react, the four of their weapons were already whistling towards their vitals. Only now did she realize these four were not some upholders of justice, but killers wanting to snatch their treasures. The four of them moved extremely fast coordinating very well to launch a vicious assault that had immediately sealed off any paths of escape. Lu Fanger had no time to even form a hand seal. She suddenly felt her waist tighten as a powerful arm wrapped around it. She soared up into the sky, out of the range of their attacks. The four of them had just been about to kill the two of them, but the two of them suddenly disappeared in front of their shocked eyes. So it was yellow bewildering powder. No wonder, Long Chen was slowly landing on the ground. He released Lu Fanger. Sneering at these four, it's no wonder you were able to easily kill a fourth rank magical beast. You were relying on medicine the entire time. Not bad. The yellow bewildering grass is extremely rare, but you actually managed to obtain it. 
You must have had quite a few lucky encounters. Looking at how well you work together, you should have already killed quite a few people for their treasures. The four of them were all shocked, especially the head favored. He had truly had a coincidental opportunity and managed to obtain a strand of yellow bewildering grass in the outside world. That was something that had almost gone extinct in the outside world. Later he had managed to find someone to refine it into powder. This medicinal powder was extremely powerful, and even a fourth-rank magical beast would fall unconscious for a breath's time once they smelled it. That was the only reason they were able to easily kill a fourth-rank magical beast. Magical beasts were unable to block the medicinal powder, and in truth, cultivators would find it even more difficult to defend against. However, they had seen that Long Chen was only at the early tendon transformation realm, while by his side was merely a physically weak beast tamer and so they hadn't wanted to waste their precious medicinal herbs. They first knocked out their magical beast, and then they wanted to instantly kill the two of them. However, in front of Long Chen, that cheap little trick was instantly seen through. Having failed to kill them in one attack, they turned and fled. They were just ordinary favored, and they didn't have spiritual defensive treasures. If they really fought with the beast tamer, then her spiritual attacks would definitely kill them. Harud, you don't even say goodbye sneered Long Chen. He suddenly moved, practically turning into a wisp of smoke, passing them in just a moment. Because Long Chen had moved so quickly, that core disciple hadn't even realized what was going on before Long Chen's fist smashed into him. Long Chen's fist was so powerful that the core disciple instantly exploded into a bloody mist. The remaining three favored were all horrified, and they took out their weapons to fight. Saber light flashed, and two of them were cut in half their mournful cries ringing out for hundreds of miles. Three of the four of them had died in the blink of an eye. The remaining one was their leader. He was pale with terror. His sword was constantly quivering. He wanted to attack, but he also didn't dare. He wanted to run, but he didn't dare do that either. He suddenly knelt on the ground, his voice quivering as he said, Senior apprentice brother, we were blind and should not have offended you. Please spare my miserable life. I can offer all my treasures to you, as long as you spare me. I'll give you everything I've stolen so far. He took out over 10 spatial rings and offered them to Long Chen. Long Chen reached out and used spiritual strength to bring them to his hand. Seeing what was inside, a mocking smile appeared on his mouth. You really were vicious. All these spatial rings were taken from righteous disciples. Truly amazing. Although spatial rings were not split between the righteous path and corrupt path, just from what was inside the spatial ring, it was possible to tell what side the owner was from. Furthermore, corrupt disciples all liked to carve a sinister fiend head onto their spatial rings. I really want to spare you, but if I spare trash like you, who knows how many people I'll end up harming. Long Chen shook his head. Senior apprentice brother, please spare me. I'm not an evil person. The ones I killed were the evil ones, begged the favored. Whether or not you're an evil person is something for the Yama King of Hell to care about. What I want to do now is send you to that Yama King. Long Chen grabbed the Chosen's throat and his terrifying spiritual key instantly invaded his body. He didn't dare move his body. In fact, he didn't even dare speak. If you had known this day would come for you, would you still have acted like this? When you were killing others, did you ever have pity on them? That person's begging didn't move Long Chen. He closed his eyes. When he once more opened them, a small whirlpool had appeared over each of his eyes. Soul Sark. Lu Fanger was shocked. Those whirlpools were made of spiritual strength and allowed one to go through another person's memories. Although this was a foundational soul art, and Lu Fanger had already taught Long Chen the principles behind it, even she herself had never used it before. One reason was because her soul energy wasn't condensed enough, so she was unable to create such a powerful spiritual pressure that would allow her to examine other people's memories. The other reason why she hadn't used it before was that this soul art was extremely dangerous. The user's soul energy had to be at least 10 times greater than the other person's, or if the counterpart used a spiritual attack while using this move, it would cause a powerful backlash to the user. Not only was Long Chen capable of using this technique, those whirlpools were incredibly clear and stable. That was proof that his soul energy had reached an extremely condensed state. If she didn't know Long Chen wouldn't trick her, she would really think that Long Chen had always been a powerful beast tamer and was just purposely feigning being a beginner. As those whirlpools spun, the favored became absent-minded, almost looking like an imbecile. Too terrifying. His first time using it and he can control it so easily, and he even controls it so well that he doesn't harm the favored soul. 
muttered Lu Fang'er. Soul Sark was an extremely barbaric soul art. There would naturally be a powerful resistance when you tried to forcibly probe another person's memories. But Long Chen's spiritual strength had completely suppressed his counterpart's soul, and even while probing his memories, he didn't harm it. That required an extremely precise control. I see many faces aggrieved in death. I see many faces crying and begging. I see an endless thirst for life. Unfortunately, you mercilessly ended all those lives. Tell me, how am I supposed to spare you? Sighed Long Chen. Originally, Long Chen had been planning on directly killing this person. He knew this favored was definitely not some good person. But a person's death should always at least embody some kind of value. So, Long Chen now used him as an experiment to see just how amazing soul arts were. It was astonishing that it was possible to rifle through another person's memories. Although Lu Fang'er had already taught Long Chen how to use it, that was just a coarse explanation. But even though his usage of this technique wasn't perfect, he still saw many scenes from this person's memories. Those were the deepest memories of this favorite's life. And that was also why Long Chen saw so many miserable faces. I, I, the favorite's throat was clenched in Long Chen's hand, his legs up in the air. He wasn't even able to say a single sentence. Don't bother trying to say anything. Just pass on at ease. In your next life, don't be so evil. If you don't cherish other people's lives, others have no way of cherishing your life. Crack. Long Chen snapped his neck. His spiritual strength also cut off his life force. The favorite's corpse fell to the ground. His eyes still filled with terror. Impudent Long Chen. You're once more slaughtering the innocent. Long Chen had only just let go when an angry denouncement rang out. Long Chen turned to see over ten people, all of them crowding around a young woman. That woman was tall and slender, with picturesque eyebrows and skin white as snow. Each one of her movements were beautiful, bringing with them an indescribable grandeur. But that slight lift in the corner of her mouth and that lofty gaze of hers made it look like she was looking down on you. It broke the beautiful image. There were over ten disciples behind her who were icily staring at Long Chen. The majority of their expressions didn't contain disdain, but a delight in Long Chen's misfortune. The first monastery, Long Chen's heart shook. These disciples were all wearing the first monastery's robes, and the majority of them were all favored. Furthermore, that woman might have yet to release her aura, but that powerful, unrevealed will of hers made people feel as if a mountain was crushing their heart. Lu Fang'er hastily rushed to Long Chen's side. She also placed her golden scaled bull, which had only just awoken back into her spiritual space. She was extremely cautious, as she could tell this woman was incredibly terrifying. Even at this distance, she felt a powerful pressure that made her breathe faster. I wouldn't have expected that not only did you willfully slaughter the innocent, you also tricked another woman to your side. Your perverted name really is not unearned. That woman sneered when she saw Lu Fang'er stand by Long Chen's side. Long Chen frowned. So you should be that idiot Yun Wushuang. Bastard. You must be tired of living. If you want to die, then just directly say so. Yin Wushuang didn't even need to say anything. Those disciples behind her all furiously cursed back at him. Long Chen's gaze indifferently swept over those people. In the end lighting on Yin Wushuang, he shook his head. You and I had no enmity, but you decided to entrap me. Why? Yin Wushuang's expression changed ever so slightly, but it instantly recovered to her previous icy expression. Do you think you even have the qualifications to be entrapped by me? Don't make me laugh to death. You clearly think far too highly of yourself. I have no need to explain myself to a notorious, perverted traitor. You should focus more on yourself. There's a good expression. All actions have consequences. Don't regret it in the future. Long Chen was too lazy to bicker with this woman. She was extremely powerful. And if they were to fight now, it would be very difficult for him to protect Lu Fang or he pulled Lu Fang'er and began to walk away. How presumptuous. You son of a BTCH. Has my family's young miss said you could leave? Shouted a man from Yun Wushuang's group. Long Chen's expression sunk, and an incomparably dense killing intent surged out. Chapter 365 Conflict Translator Born to be Long Chen, who had been walking away with Lu Fang'er, suddenly turned into a ray of light that charged into their group. He seemed like a provoked lion. Impudent. Seeing Long Chen ignore her to charge into her group, Yin Wushuang angrily shouted and took out a silver white sword which she stabbed forward. Silver light flashed a sword key swept out. It surprisingly formed a sword net in front of her which blocked Long Chen. Fuck off. A roar rang out like thunder that shook the nine heavens. A golden saber cut across the void. 
bringing with it endless killing intent as it slashed onto the sword net. Boom. Yin Huashuang had never, ever imagined that Long Chen was so powerful. His power surged over her in a mountain crushing, sea toppling manner. She was unable to block him, and was directly sent flying. After forcing back Yin Huashuang with a single slash, Long Chen didn't hesitate, rushing straight at the favor that had just insulted him. That favored felt as if he had been marked by a god of death, and his entire body turned cold. Although he had over ten companions by his side, he still felt incomparable terror. Seeing Long Chen approach them, those disciples all released their powerful auras and attacked Long Chen. A dense bloody scent filled the air. Those disciples hadn't even realized what had happened when Long Chen disappeared. They were horrified. They didn't even know how he had done it, but somehow Long Chen had already killed one of them. That person's headless corpse collapsed to the ground, blood still spurting out of its neck and dyeing the ground red. They hastily turned and saw Long Chen back in his original position. In his right hand was a saber that rested on his shoulder, while his left hand held a person's head. Naturally that was the head of the favor that had just insulted him. The head's expression was twisted with intense terror. However, there was no longer life within those eyes anymore. Long Chen released it, allowing the head to drop to the ground. He then kicked the head rolling towards them. All of them felt a chill in their hearts. If you want to provoke me, Long Chen, then come at any time. My price isn't high. Just leave your head behind. Long Chen's voice chilled them to the bones. It was as if his voice had come from the depths of hell. Long Chen, you are asking for death. After being forced back by Long Chen's saber, Yin Wushuang hadn't even had a chance to stabilize herself before everything ended. Long Chen was too fast and she hadn't had a chance to save the favored. That completely infuriated her. These people were all her monastery's disciples, and they were also her loyal subordinates. They had been especially sent over from her family to protect her. That was why they didn't call Yun Wushuang senior apprentice sister. But young lady, for Long Chen to kill one of her subordinates with her right in front of him, that was no different from a slap in the face. Shut up, you idiot woman. Don't think I don't know what shady business you've done. The only reason I don't kill you right now is because you haven't directly targeted me. If you dare point your sword at me now, I guarantee I will cut off your head. If you don't believe me, go ahead and try it. Long Chen's expression was incredibly dark. His grip on Devil Decapitator tightened. Long Chen did want to kill this vicious woman, but currently, he still hadn't gotten to the bottom of everything that had happened. He couldn't use a single person's oral confession as absolute proof. That would be far too arbitrary. But if Yun Wushuang dared to directly attack him, then he wouldn't have any hesitation. If anyone wanted to kill him, they had to be prepared to be killed as well. Yun Wushuang had turned green from anger and her chest was heaving, glaring at Long Chen. That fury in her eyes looked as if it could melt steel. She tightly clenched her sword. However, in the end, she decided not to attack. She took a deep breath and icily said, Long Chen, I won't kill you today because I want you to die to Brother Xianyu. For you to die under my hands has no meaning. Long Chen flung Devil Decapitator randomly, flinging the blood high into the sky. He sneered, I'll accompany anyone at any time. If Han Xianyu's neck feels itchy, I can help him out. You, Yin Wushuang was furious. Long Chen's words were far too arrogant. He actually dared say such things about the Righteous Path's number one expert, Han Xianyu. Those disciples behind Yin Wushuang were also infuriated. They wanted to say something. But thinking of that person that had just been killed by him, all their curses were swallowed back down. I, Long Chen, have always followed the principle of if you don't offend me, I won't offend you. I don't like causing trouble, but I also never fear trouble. If you want to target me, then come at me openly. Stop playing all your shameful, despicable schemes. After saying that, Long Chen didn't even glance at Yun Wushuang. He directly brought Lu Fanger away. Fuck he pisses me off. I definitely won't let this Long Chen have a good death. Seeing Long Chen's figure disappear into the distance, Yin Wushuang clenched her teeth angrily. Just now, she had been on the verge of exploding. But in the end, she had still endured. Young lady, why didn't you kill him? Asked a favored. Others might not know of the terror that was Yin Wushuang, but these people had followed her for many years. Other than Han Xianyu, there was not anyone in the same generation as her that they thought could defeat during Yin Wushuang. No, I can't kill him right now. Otherwise, all this work would have been for nothing. Right now, Long Chen's reputation has been completely smeared. That wasn't easy to do. I need Brother Xianyu to personally kill Long Chen. 
One reason is to warn those idiots that our first monastery can't be offended by just anyone. The second reason is because of those two women beside Long Chen. Once brother Xianayu kills Long Chen, they shouldn't have the face to try and cozy up to him. Then I'll have also defeated two powerful opponents in that way too, said Yun Wushuang. Young lady is wise. Those disciples all had admiring expressions. Long Chen is just one of my chis pieces. If I kill him personally, that's just destroying my own piece. It's not smart. So even though I'm pissed, I still need to control myself. What harm is there in letting Long Chen live for a little while longer? Sneered Yun Wushuang. Let's go. Let's just act as if we didn't see him. Young lady, this. One person pointed to the corpse of their favored. Just leave it here. HMPH. He wasn't even able to block a single blow. He really has lost all my face. He deserved his death. Leave his corpse to rot in the wilderness. A disgusted expression appeared on Yun Wushuang's face. She quickened her footsteps. Also entering deeper into the forest of darkness. Long Chen was pulling Lu Fang'er forward. Neither of them spoke for a while. The atmosphere was a bit awkward. Sister Fang'er, what do you think? Was I too soft-hearted? Sighed Long Chen. Soft-hearted? How come I can't see any of that? Lu Fang'er almost stumbled. When Long Chen killed people, he didn't even bat an eye. He was ruthless and merciless. So much so that it caused other people's spirits to tremble. Even as his companion. She was still somewhat terrified. For Long Chen to suddenly ask if he was too soft-hearted, Lu Fang'er really had no idea how to reply. She was afraid if she replied wrong, Long Chen might get angry. In truth, I always trust my intuition. I can practically guarantee that she was one who came up with the scheme against me. But when I faced her, I really didn't have the heart to viciously kill her. Instead, I have to find a reason before I kill her. So I suddenly feel like I'm a bit stupid. Sighed Long Chen. I understand what you mean. Although you're merciless when you start killing people, the majority of the time when you go on a rampage, it isn't for yourself. Maybe you can easily forgive someone who hurts you or schemes against you, but you definitely won't forgive anyone who hurts anyone by your side. I like that protective heart of yours. He, Menki really didn't misjudge. A real man is someone like you who doesn't care about temporary losses or gains, but places the people by his side as number one. Laughed Lu Fang'er. Long Chen paused slightly. Now that you say it, it seems it really is true. Normally when people try to scheme against me, I just give them a couple slaps in the face and kick them a few times before letting them off. But if someone is unable to defeat Ring, and thus decides to target the people close to me, then I really will hate them. Sometimes that hate doesn't go away even after I kill them. I always thought there was some devil fiend inside my heart that goes berserk whenever I start feeling hatred. Sometimes that makes me extremely afraid. I'm afraid that hatred will cause me to lose my way. Because when I become lost in my hatred, I turn into a fiend. A fiend that will extinguish the heavens and exterminate the earth. That's why I've always been controlling my emotions. But as time passes, no matter what I do, there are always countless people charging at me, forcing me to kill them. If they want to come at me, then I'm not afraid. But when they aren't capable of hurting me, they decide to hurt the people by my side. That really teaches me the meaning of true pain. After entering the secret realm, I swore that I would no longer hold back. I found the more effective, most direct way to protect my people is to kill. I'll kill until corpses are piled like mountains. I'll kill until the rivers turn red from blood. I'll kill until their hearts finally tremble. I'll kill until they don't dare even think of targeting me. That way my friends should be safe. Hearing this from Long Chen, and seeing the maturity on his face that did not match up to his age. Lu Fang'er's heart ached slightly for him. Long Chen's shoulders were carrying far too many things. People only saw his icy, merciless side, but they didn't see the side of him that cared so deeply about his friends, who were his brothers and sisters to him. Long Chen, whether you become a hero capable of supporting heaven and earth, or you become a fiend with hands dyed red with blood, Men Qi and I will always stand by your side. Lu Fang'er held Long Chen's hands. He, thank you Sister Fang'er. I just don't know how Men Qi will react once she learns about my matters, said Long Chen bashfully. Lu Fang'er clearly didn't understand Long Chen's meaning, and she rolled her eyes at him. Who asked you to be so fickle-hearted? Long Chen felt as if his face was scalding hot, but he had no way of saying that he just couldn't control his emotions. Originally he had hoped that Lu Fang'er would put in a good word for him with Men Qi, but now he didn't know how to ask for such a thing. Seeing Long Chen's face had turned completely red. 
Lu Fanger laughed and rebuked. Are you stupid? The cultivation world isn't the same as the secular world. The goal isn't to bear and raise children to carry on bloodlines. Why would Menki feel sour about this? But let me warn you, if you have too many women by your side in the future, and if you aren't able to maintain peace between them, then it really will become a complete mess. At that time, no one will be able to cultivate peacefully, and you will have real trouble. Lu Fanger's words let Long Chen relax a great deal. The women by his side were all good-natured. They should be able to get along. A day later, the two of them had just reached the core region of the Forest of Darkness, when explosions rang out in the distance. A powerful aura surged out, one which caused Long Chen's expression to change. Chapter 366 Malicious Woman Translator Born to be that aura, it's Chu Yao. Long Chen hurriedly summoned out Little Snow, pulling up Lu Fang'er. They rushed over in that direction. Long Chen, this place is close to the core region of the Forest of Darkness. Rushing like this is very dangerous. Warned Lu Fang'er Noveloon.com Don't worry about it. Chu Yao's fighting with someone, and I have to hurry over. Long Chen had spread his divine sense out to its max, and every movement within 3,000 meters was grasped by him clearly. He told Little Snow to go as fast as possible. Little Snow understood Long Chen's thoughts, and turned into a white bolt of lightning that rushed forward. Around 200 miles deeper into the forest, there was an opening between two mountains. There were quite a few people watching secretly from a distance. On one side of the opening was a steep cliff thousands of meters high that looked as if a blade had cut it open. On the bottom of the cliff was an ancient tree. In front of that tree was a woman. Hundreds of wooden stakes had grown out of the ground in front of her. They appeared like vines growing into the sky, and they closely protected the woman. When Long Chen saw that figure, his heart instantly felt much more at ease. That woman was Chu Yao. Only after seeing Chu Yao was safe and sound did Long Chen turn to see who was in front of her. He instantly felt a burning anger inside him. There were over 30 people, and three of them had reached the chosen level. These people were all wearing monastery robes, but they were from different monasteries. As for the arrogant woman leading them, it was Yun Wushuang. She was icily staring at Chu Yao. Due to the relationship between our super monastery and your Skywood Palace, I won't make things hard for you. This tree has taken my fancy, so you can leave. Hopefully you'll be sensible and won't make things hard for me. That won't have any benefits for you. Long Chen saw that the ancient tree behind Chu Yao was only a couple hundred meters tall. There was not a single leaf growing out of it. Its life force had obviously long since dried up. But then when he clearly saw the veins on top of the tree, his pupil shrunk slightly. He finally understood why Yun Wushuang would want to fight over this ancient tree. This tree was called the Seven Heartsia Cherry Apple Tree. It was an extremely miraculous kind of tree. Its branches, fruit, and leaves were all worthless. Its true value lay in its tree heart. The most miraculous thing about it was that its tree heart contained an extremely pure wood energy. It had a total of seven tree hearts. When the tree finally reached its longevity limit, it would die. But that was a fake death. Even in that state of suspended animation, the seven hearts a cherry apple tree would ignite the energy of six of its tree hearts and merge that energy into a single tree heart. Once the six tree hearts energy was all used up, the remaining tree heart would contain an incredible amount of wood energy. That one tree heart would hide itself inside its tree, entering a hibernation state. When it once more awakened, that would be the time for the ancient tree to return to its youthful state. From the outside, it looked as if this tree had already completely withered and died. But Long Chen could use his powerful spiritual strength to sense a miraculous energy within the ancient tree that was slowly awakening. Its tree heart had probably already hibernated for a long time and had finally absorbed enough energy, it would quickly begin to awaken. If the tree heart was extracted at such a time, then it would be a priceless treasure to wood cultivators. I was the one who noticed this seven hearts a cherry apple tree first. Later, greedy people came to fight over it when I began to extract its tree heart. I didn't forcibly snatch this from other people. Despite the good relationship between your Zuanshan Super Monastery and my Skywood Palace, are you really planning on fighting over this with me? Chu Yao's words contained some fury. Chu Yao had entered the Forest of Darkness half a month ago. By relying on her wood attribute senses, she had managed to find this seven hearts a cherry apple tree. However, this tree grew in an extremely conspicuous location, and extracting the tree heart was a complicated progress. If she was careless, it was all too possible to end up losing a great deal of its energy. In the end, it was even possible for this priceless treasure to become a piece of trash. 
That was why Chu Yao needed to have an undisturbed time in order to safely accomplish her goal. If it was someone else, they probably would have uprooted the entire tree and put it in a storage ring. But Chu Yao knew that if she did that, it could cause the tree to lose its spirituality, and its tree heart would lose almost half its energy. The most hateful thing was that whenever she would try to extract the tree heart, others would always come to disturb her. Those people were all extremely vexing. They couldn't defeaturing her, and so they just watched from a distance. When she tried to extract the tree heart, they would either attack her or perhaps even shout loudly to draw over more people. Chu Yao hated herself for being soft-hearted. If she hadn't cared about the fact that they had all been part of the righteous path, she would have killed the three people who had fought with her over it at the very beginning, and then she would have long since obtained the tree heart. But later more and more people came, and many were powerful experts. Although she was strong and capable of blocking all these people's attacks, she had no chance to extract the tree heart. Furthermore, she had now become everyone's target. She had no idea what she should do, but she was extremely unwilling to just give up on the tree heart like this. Its tree heart was a treasure all wood cultivators would long for even in their dreams. With the tree heart, she would be able to comprehend the mysteries of life and peer into the wood deo. Then she would be able to walk even further on her cultivation path. So she had to obtain the tree heart, but she also couldn't come up with a way to extract it like this. More and more experts were arriving, causing her to panic. Just now, she had suddenly seen a group of disciples wearing robes from the Zhuanshan monasteries, that had delighted her, especially when she saw they had three chosen level experts. Furthermore, the woman at the front was powerful enough to intimidate competitors, but before she could even ask for assistance from these monastery disciples, they had actually demanded the tree heart from her. That newfound trace of hope of hers had instantly been trampled. Enemies had surrounded her on all sides. Furthermore, those allies had instead become the most terrifying opponents. Chu Yao was filled with grievance and fury. These were her allies? Staring at Chu Yao, Yin Wushuang disdainfully said, Natural treasures will go to the strong. Don't make any jokes about being the first to find it. That just proves you're stupid. You. Chu Yao's body was quivering and mist began to appear in her eyes. However, she refused to allow herself to cry. I can't cry. I swore I would become stronger. I swore I would become an expert. I will protect him. If I cry, that would mean I'm still the same useless girl. Chu Yao repeated that to herself over and over. She had to become stronger. She had to make her will stronger. She couldn't cry just because of such a little grievance. HMPH, you're too naive. That so-called alliance is just an outer appearance. In front of top treasures, that kind of relationship is as weak as paper. The fact that I won't kill you is already giving enough face to the Skywood Palace. Although your wood energy is powerful, you still wouldn't be able to exchange even 10 blows with me. So I'd advise you to obediently leave. Don't end up tossing aside your life just for a treasure you can't obtain. You should take advantage of this time and leave before I change my mind. Yin Wushuang's gaze at Chu Yao had a trace of jealousy and her words were extremely discourteous. That was because she had realized Chu Yao's outer appearance was a level higher than her own. Furthermore, Chu Yao's body had a special spiritual grace unique to wood cultivators. It was like she was a beautiful forest sprite, one that involuntarily provoked feelings of tenderness. Normally, all women disliked women more beautiful than them, especially women with both beauty and that special cute tenderness. Yin Wushuang was almost unable to endure it. She wished to kill Chu Yao, but she wasn't so crazy. The Zhuanshan Super Monastery had a good relationship to the Skywood Palace. If she killed Chu Yao in front of this many people, that would provoke big trouble. So all she wanted was the tree heart. At the same time, she could conveniently force away this displeasing woman. If Chu Yao wasn't sensible, then she wouldn't mind giving her a lesson. At the same time, she suppressed the feeling of wanting to kill Chu Yao because of her jealousy but she couldn't display the fact that she didn't dare kill Chu Yao, or it would appear as if she weren't confident enough. So on the outside, she still acted cold and detached, using a high and lofty attitude to look down on her. She wanted to use her powerful cultivation base to suppress her. I won't give up on the tree heart. If you want to try me, then come. Chu Yao clenched her teeth, and she formed a hand seal in front of her. The ground trembled, and countless rectangular, wooden stakes soared out of the ground. They were like pythons that were extending their heads out of the ground, forming a huge wooden formation around Chu Yao. Each one of these wooden stakes had countless lines covering them that emitted a metallic luster. 
No one could doubt the power of these wooden stakes. Just the terrifying pressure emitted from them was enough to make it so favored were unable to breathe. Seeing that Chu Yao had taken on a defensive fighting posture, Yin Wushuang's expression turned chilly. In front of me, you are just a tiny ant. I'll give you one final warning. Put away your rotten wood and scram. Or don't blame me for being merciless and taking your pathetic life. Put away your fake mask. Long Chen really was right. Some idiots can't be reasoned with. Come at me, shouted Chu Yao coldly. Her fury had reached a breaking point. As a wood cultivator, she was especially sensitive towards killing intent. How could she not sense Yun Wushuang's true intentions? You are acquainted with Long Chen. Yun Wushuang was startled. So what? Chu Yao was completely focused and didn't dare be careless. With her keen senses as a wood cultivator, she knew that this woman was extremely terrifying. Ha 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 ha. Nothing. Nothing. You're acquainted with Long Chen? Good. Good. Very good. Yin Wushuang began to laugh crazily. When her laughter finally ended, she smiled sinisterly. Long Chen is a perverted traitor, wicked beyond redemption. As his friend, you're definitely also not a good person. I think I'll capture you for now and see how that Long Chen dares be arrogant again. You malicious woman. You can't insult Long Chen. Long Chen isn't a perverted traitor. He was framed by someone. If you want to snatch the tree heart, just try it. Even if I can't obtain it, I can still destroy it. I definitely won't let the tree heart land in the hands of a malicious woman like you. Chu Yao's eyebrows were completely upright now, and her jade face was covered in a layer of frost. Slut, you dare? If you destroy the tree heart, I will tear your face apart. Yin Wushuang furiously unsheathed her silver sword. Her aura completely erupted out, and she was just about to charge forward when a huge figure blocked her line of sight. Chapter 367 I needed a reason to kill you translator. Born to be Little Snow's huge figure appeared in front of Chu Yao. A familiar back was standing on top of Little Snow. Chu Yao's previous anger instantly disappeared, and her tears involuntarily poured out. Long Chen, seeing that figure, Chu Yao let out a soft cry. Long Chen turned back and smiled brightly towards her, with almost a sun-like warmth. He said, you rest for now, leave this place to me. Chu Yao didn't have a chance to reply before a woman gently held her hand. You must be junior sister Chu Yao? Let's back up a bit and let Long Chen handle this evil woman. Senior sister, you are. Chu Yao was a bit flabbergasted. She didn't recognize this pretty woman. You'll learn everything soon. Come, let's just watch. Lu Fang'er felt a bit embarrassed. In front of Long Chen, she didn't feel any uncomfortableness or restrictiveness, but she still felt a bit of pressure in front of Chu Yao. It was a good thing that Chu Yao didn't continue questioning her and just tightly stared at Long Chen. Adopt Little Snow. Long Chen's hands were clasped behind his back. He looked like a celestial divinity looking down disdainfully on all. His gaze indifferently swept over those distant people, finally landing on a shocked Yun Wushuang. That was because Yun Wushuang could sense a powerful pressure from Little Snow. Although Little Snow was only at the early fourth rank, she felt a clear threat from him. Slot. In front of Yun Wushuang, Long Chen merely spat out that one word. You. You're the slot. Yun Wushuang was immediately infuriated. Her sword quivered slightly, prepared to attack at any moment. This time wasn't the same as last time. There were many people watching secretly from a distance. Cursing her like this was giving her a slap in the face. You're wrong. When I said you were a slot, I wasn't cursing you. Did you not hear that my tone was full of praise? Then let me say it again so you can hear it clearly. Slot. Long Chen shook his head and repeated himself. It was precisely this one word that rang out through every nook and cranny. All the spectators could clearly hear that Long Chen's voice didn't contain the slightest bit of anger. It was as if he was just asserting a fact. But to assert such a fact made everyone feel a bit odd. A word that was full of humiliation, provocation, and derision. But that was spoken with such a tone, was something they had never heard before. Quite a few people saw Yun Wushuang's expression sink. Even a couple of her stray hairs were starting to stick up. It was clear she was a bit unhappy about being described that way. Long Chen, you perverted traitor, you're courting death, shouted one of the angry spectators. Long Chen glanced at him. He was also a monastery disciple, and he had a powerful cultivation base. He was another chosen level expert. Then looking at the mark on his shoulder, it showed he came from the 17th monastery. By his side was another chosen from the 38th monastery. Behind them was a large group of monastery disciple, all wearing ridiculing expressions as they looked at Long Chen as if they were just watching a play. 
the ones courting death are you. For idiots like you. I can exterminate a dozen of you with a wave of my hand. Right now my mood isn't good. So it'd be best for you to not provoke me. Otherwise, you'll be the first one I kill. I see killing intent surfaced out of Long Chen as he said that. That person was infuriated. But when he saw Long Chen's gaze, a powerful sensation of death instantly filled his heart. It was as if the Grim Reaper's scythe was already pressed against his throat. If he dared open his mouth, that scythe would instantly reap his life. It was a mysterious feeling. That was a feeling born from Long Chen's immense killing intent. If he dared to once more let out a single fart, Long Chen would give up on Yun Wushuang to first cut him down. As a chosen, he was also a favored with the Dao Mark, and his ability to sense danger was greater than average. That was why he was even more terrified than a core disciple would be. He was sweating. He didn't dare open his mouth. He could sense Long Chen's determination. If he dared provoke him again, Long Chen would let out a lightning quick strike. He knew that if Long Chen attacked him, there would naturally be others to come assist. There was even a top expert like Yun Wushuang present. Long Chen should be helpless against them. But for some unknown reason, he was filled with terror and unease. Despite clearly knowing that if he backed down now, his reputation would hit the floor. He still didn't utter a sound. With a single warning, Long Chen was able to pressure a chosen into not even daring to fart. Chu Yao and Lu Fanger were both filled with worship. That was especially true of Chu Yao. It could be said that she was someone who had been with Long Chen as they overcame all kinds of trials and tribulations. She had personally seen Long Chen's meteoric rise. In Phoenix Cry, Long Chen had created miracle after miracle, walking the path of an expert and entering the cultivation world. Now, in front of countless experts, Long Chen was still able to release a brilliant light that no one could eclipse. Since that person didn't dare say anything, Long Chen's aura slackened slightly, and he withdrew his gaze. He then turned to once more focus on Yun Wushuang. Yun Wushuang was trembling with fury. Bitter resentment appeared in her eyes. Long Chen, do you really want me to kill you so much? Long Chen shook his head. You're mistaken again. Looks like you don't understand my meaning. I really had no intentions of insulting you. He pointed seriously at the silver sword in Yun Wushuang's hand. Calling you a slut is not the slightest bit wrong. I'm using a saber, while you're using a sword. If you aren't a slut, one then what are you? There are sabers you could use, but you use a sword. There are high-class swords you could use, but you use your low-class sword. There are golden swords you could use, but you use a silver sword. You've reached a slut level that no one else can compare to. So I feel that slut is really the best word for you. In front of a top slut like yourself, who else would even dare call themselves cheap? Long Chen's voice was extremely sincere, and his words were said with a tone that almost made people cheerfully accept them. Everyone stealthily glanced at the silver sword in Yun Wushuang's hand, and every single expression turned a bit odd. Inside, they prostrated themselves to Long Chen in admiration. When cursing people, he didn't use the slightest obscenity. Too. And yet, he was still able to curse someone to the point that everyone was fully convinced. That was true skill. The entire crowd was deathly silent now. Even Lu Fanger was dumbfounded. She had never thought Long Chen's tongue had reached such a level. Only Chu Yao was smiling. This wicked person was always so wicked. But Long Chen's wickedness was one that warmed her heart. She was the one who understood Long Chen's temperament the best. His treatment towards his friends and family could not be better. He wouldn't even hesitate to sacrifice his life for them. But to his enemies, his treatment towards them could not be worse. Being Long Chen's friend was a blessing. While those that became his enemies, their endings were all quite miserable. Long. Chen. Go. To. Hell. Yin Wushuang had turned green from rage, and flames were practically spitting out of her eyes. Those words were all spit out through the gaps between her clenched teeth. Buzz. Her silver sword brandished out. Heaven and earth shook, and that terrifying sword key caused even space to tear apart. Everyone present all felt a chill in their bones and hastily retreated. But before she could even release his attack, Little Snow, who had long since been prepared, opened his mouth and shot out a huge sphere of wind blades. Within that wind blade sphere was a scarlet flame. This was one of Little Snow's unique skills. After advancing to the fourth rank, even this move of his had changed. When it shot out it was only several meters long. But by the time it reached Yun Wushuang, it had grown by ten times. A terrifying pressure caused the air to explode. A terrifying wave of ki surged out like a tsunami. Yun Wushuang hadn't expected Little Snow's attack to be so terrifying. Furthermore. He had shot it out without any signs of storing up energy. 
By the time she reacted, the attack had already reached her. HMPH. Silver Frost Slash. Yin Wushuang snorted and her silver sword filled the sky with light that appeared like dancing ice frost that slashed down in front of her. Boom. An explosion rocked the mountains, and a berserk wave of ki flew out. Broken wind blades shot out in every direction. Sheet. A-H-H. Little Snow's attack had been broken by Yun Wushuang's powerful battle skill. But those broken wind blades still contained a terrifying power. Those wind blades were not things ordinary core disciples could block. There were quite a few people hit by the wind blades, sustaining heavy injuries. Some unlucky fellows were struck in the vitals and met a violent death. Once that wave of wind blades ended, there were over 10 corpses left on the ground. Those corpses were all the spectators with lower cultivation bases. They had used their own lives to tell others a certain fact. Even watching the excitement could be dangerous. Spectators should be cautious. Yin Wushuang had a horrified expression. Although she had broken Little Snow's attack with her sword, she was still forced back dozens of meters, and her arms had become slightly sore. That shocked her. Little Snow was really too strong, and this was when they were fighting openly. If Little Snow had instead launched this kind of attack as a sneak attack, then if she were struck by such an attack, she would definitely die. She didn't know that Little Snow's attack was something that had almost killed a top expert like Yun Luo. Otherwise, she definitely wouldn't have been so careless. Long Chen, you fiendish traitor. How dare you slaughter the innocent like this? You definitely won't have a good death. A distant spectator cursed at Long Chen. There was a corpse beside him. That person had only just spoken when Little Snow opened his mouth and shot out a wind blade. That person was appalled and filled with despair. He wanted to dodge, but he was horrified to realize he had been locked in place and couldn't move. He could only watch as that wind blade struck him, turning him into a bloody mist. Those other spectators were all terrified and fled for their lives. Idiots. Do you think I'm some pushover? Long Chen cursed inside. Just now, it was clearly Yun Wushuang who had caused Little Snow's attack to scatter and implicate those spectators. But these fellows didn't dare find Yun Wushuang to settle the debt, instead trying to blame it on Long Chen. They clearly thought he was easier to bully. Little Snow had shot out two attacks. One had been repelled, while the other had exterminated its target. That had immediately intimidated everyone. Even Chu Yao and Lu Fanger were shocked by Little Snow's battle prowess. Long Chen jumped off Little Snow. He didn't even glance at the spectators. He just gave Little Snow an order that as long as someone dared provoke them, he was to kill them. With Little Snow next to Chu Yao, he didn't have any worries. Before. I said that since you didn't directly target me, I didn't have a reason to kill you. Now I finally have a reason. Long Chen's calm expression suddenly disappeared to be replaced with an incredibly icy expression. Chapter 368 Bewildering Phantom Images Translator Born to be before, I said that since you didn't directly target me, I didn't have a reason to kill you. Now I finally have a reason. Long Chen's calm expression was replaced with endless iciness. He pointed Devil Decapitator at Yun Wushuang. The fact that you schemed to entrap me pisses me off, but it wasn't enough for me to kill you. But a dragon has a reverse scale, and if touched, it will completely infuriate them. Chu Yao is my reverse scale. Whoever dares touch her will have to face my, Long Chen's, fury. Long Chen's voice reverberated throughout the mountains like a divine oath. A terrifying killing intent spread, causing everyone's spirits to tremble. Looking at Long Chen's back. Chu Yao's eyes involuntarily turned wet again. It was as if she was seeing that same back from the capital that always stood in front of her no matter the danger. Nowadays, Long Chen had grown even stronger, but that protective heart he had for Chu Yao hadn't changed in the slightest. In fact, it had only grown stronger as time had passed. Ha 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 ha. On the other hand, Yin Wushuang let out a long, icy laugh. She carried a sneer that said she felt Long Chen was beneath her dignity to kill. You're Long Chen's. Fury? Try not to say such incredible jokes out loud. Who do you think you, Long Chen, are? I, Yin Wushuang, come from an ancient family, possessing a bloodline from ancient times. Even in the entire super monastery, other than Brother Shian Ayu, who else can possibly suppress me? You, a small early tendon transformation brat, also dare say such brazen words in front of me? Do you really think you can stand on the same level as me? If you really think that then I have no choice but to admit you really are stupid. The only reason I didn't kill you last time is because it would stain my hands. But since you want to die, I, Yin Wushuang, will help you accomplish it. Yin Wushuang's silver sword suddenly let out a soft cry. 
seeming to almost come alive. A powerful sword intent shot out and shook the land. Sword cultivator. Long Chen was extremely shocked. Yin Wushuang was actually a sword cultivator. And based on her aura and will, she was an extremely powerful sword cultivator. It was just that Long Chen didn't understand how that was possible. Weren't sword cultivators supposed to be aloof? Prideful existences? How could such a malicious woman, who only knew how to scheme all day, become a sword cultivator? The heavens really had been blind. Yin Wushuang's sword took a slanted position, and a terrifying sword intent shot out. It was as if there were countless invisible swords in the air for thousands of meters. Those swords seemed to be constantly cutting apart space, causing everyone to feel terrified. All those spectators fled further. Just by taking her fighting posture, she was able to shake them to their cores. Then what would happen once she truly attacked? They didn't want to end up getting caught in the aftershocks. Behind Long Chen, Lu Fanger and Chu Yao's hearts also pounded. Yin Wushuang's strength had far surpassed their expectations. She really is powerful. Then is what she said true. And other than Han Shian Ayu, no one else can suppress her. Lu Fanger's face was pale with worry. Previously, Long Chen had already told her that it was Yin Wushuang who had deliberately targeted him and set up that despicable scheme. Originally, Lu Fanger had thought she was just someone who liked to make schemes, and wasn't necessarily powerful. That was because experts didn't like to use those contemptible schemes. They would rather use their strongest strength to resolve their problems. However, now that Yun Wushuang had released her full aura, it caused everyone's hearts to tremble. Just standing in front of her would require incredible courage. Then what about actually fighting her? What she said isn't true. I don't know and don't care about whether or not Han Shian Ayu can suppress her, but in front of Long Chen, no one has the qualifications to say such arrogant words, said Chu Yao with worship. She had known Long Chen the longest, and the longer she knew Long Chen, the more terrifyingly powerful she felt Long Chen to be. He seemed just like an extremely calm well. Only when you walked closer would you be able to see that this well was shockingly deep. In fact, it was practically bottomless. Only when he encountered truly powerful experts would people realize Long Chen's true strength. And when Long Chen released his full strength, he would always make people feel as if their blood was boiling and racing. Long Chen casually rested Devil Decapitator on his shoulder. In the face of Yun Wushuang's powerful aura, he didn't show the slightest ripple of emotion. He had long since been prepared. Although he had never fought with her before, Long Chen had already sensed that Yun Wushuang had reached this level. Come at me. Don't be like a chattering, long-winded grandmother. Long Chen shook his head. Yin Wushuang furiously attacked. A sky full of sword images superimposed and multiplied. She had already disappeared. The only thing remaining was a sky full of sword key that surged at Long Chen. As soon as she attacked, she struck like lightning. The two chosen that had been beside Yin Wushuang both trembled. They most likely wouldn't be able to receive even a single blow. Although many people could be called chosen or had reached the chosen level, they all knew the difference between them and Yun Wushuang was far too great. The term chosen simply meant that they were a favored who was more powerful than average. Most chosen were only able to reach that level because they had maintained a perfect win record and thus possessed a stronger will. Their sects went all out to groom their powerful self-confidence and will. They would turn their unrevealed confidence into a kind of force field. In front of that will, their enemies would all be greatly suppressed. But Chosen were not simply born at that level. They were all raised carefully by their sects through countless resources. In order to make sure they didn't lose that will, they secretly guarded them, not letting them fight with other Chosen. That was because if they were defeated, that would be a fatal impact to their undefeatable will. So they would all select opponents for them that were just a hair weaker than them. Through constant victories, they managed to raise their undefeatable will. Although these two Chosen weren't personally fighting with Yun Wushuang, just seeing her attack gave them a huge impact. In front of experts on her level, they wouldn't be able to receive even 10 blows. In fact, they might even be instantly defeated. As for Long Chen, seeing that sword key, he actually exclaimed in admiration, what a great sword technique. A sword in a person, a person in a sword, truly worthy of a slot. 1. He stabbed out Devil Decapitator into the mountain of sword key crashing down on him. Devil Decapitator collided with Yun Wushuang's true sword, emitting a ringing sound. The sky full of sword images disappeared. Yun Wushuang was forced several steps back. She was filled with shock. As a sword cultivator, she was extremely confident in her sword skills. The sword technique she had used just now was called the Bewildering Phantom Images. 
She would create countless illusory sword images that made it so no one could differentiate the real one from the fake. Within the same realm, other than Han Shianayu, there had been no one who had been able to identify her real sword within her sea of fakes. As long as her opponent mistook which one was real and went to block an illusory sword, her real sword would instantly slash onto their body. It was extremely vicious, and it had always been extremely effective. It had to be known that when facing an expert on the level of Yun Wushuang, just resisting her aura would intimidate others. When she attacked, her opponents would then have to find the real sword amongst millions of illusory ones. If they chose wrongly, they would instantly suffer death during under that kind of powerful pressure. There was no one who could stay completely calm and instantly find her real sword. But Long Chen had easily done so. How could that not shock Yun Wushuang? She told herself it was a coincidence. Definitely a coincidence. She once more waved out her sword, and the sky full of sword images reappeared, slashing down on Long Chen. Long Chen once more stabbed out, accurately landing on Yun Wushuang's sword, forcing her back again. Bastard, how are you doing this? Yun Wushuang was no longer able to remain calm. To handle a slot, there's no need for anything fancy. To handle a slot. To move. I only need a single saber. Long Chen rubbed Devil Decapitator's blade, acting in a profound manner. In truth, Yun Wushuang's sword move was extremely bizarre, and within the same realm, there really were few people who could identify the true sword. Even Long Chen was unable to find it, but he didn't need to find it. The greatest taboo when fighting was to rely on your eyes. That was because your eyes could be easily deceived. As long as you used divine sense to lock onto her sword, there was no way she could deceive you. However, Long Chen also hadn't used divine sense. He didn't need to do something so complicated. He didn't use his eyes, and he also didn't use his divine sense. All he needed to do was sense which direction the threat was coming from and he could easily find the real sword. For martial artists, as they grew more experienced, their senses would become much more perceptive. When fighting in groups, attacks aimed at their backs weren't sensed with their eyes, nor was there a way to constantly lock onto all weapons with your divine sense. Instead, they relied on their sense of danger. Such a fighting method was all too common in the secular world. However, in the cultivation world, there were actually many people who didn't know or didn't use this method. That was because group battles in the cultivation world were extremely rare. Normally, all cultivators would fight in one against ones. This was also a result of many cultivators having high cultivation bases, but having little combat experience. This sword technique Yun Wushuang had drilled in for many years was a boring game in front of Long Chen. Die. Seeing that Long Chen didn't reply properly, Yun Wushuang shouted in anger. Her silver sword once more filled the sky with sword images. She refused to believe Long Chen was as strong as Han Shianayu. She would rather believe it had all been coincidental. Yun Wushuang attacked three times, while Long Chen also stabbed out three times. Each time, Long Chen easily neutralized Yun Wushuang's attack and forced her back. The spectators were all filled with shock. Even up to now, they still didn't understand how Long Chen had done this. Long Chen's way too bizarre. When did such a monster appear in the righteous path? All of them were shocked. In the entire super monastery, Yun Wushuang's name was second only to Han Shianayu and the very low-key Huabiluo. Even in the entire righteous path, they were considered outstanding geniuses. But such a person was using such a powerful move, and was still continuously thwarted by some unknown brat. That was far too shocking to them. Although I don't know what method you're using, don't get too pleased. I was just warming up. Now I'll let you die at ease. Yin Wushuang finally gave up on using the same move over and over again. As a peerless slot, I'm sure you have your own peerless slot moves. Come at me, said Long Chen lazily. Yin Wushuang's eyes turned cold, and a blood-colored mark lit up on her forehead. A berserk aura instantly erupted out. Chapter 369 Ancient Bloodline Translator Born to be the instant that blood-colored mark appeared on Yun Wushuang's forehead, an ancient aura surged out from within her body. Every single person present felt their hearts pound. This was not the same as ordinary pressure. This was a bloodline suppression. Those with weaker cultivation bases immediately felt as if their blood was about to burst out of their bodies, and they fled in panic. Even those stronger favored felt a change in their bodies, and they hastily retreated out of the range of that terrifying pressure. You are just a lowly ant. Today I'll let you gain some experience on the power of an ancient bloodline, allowing you to die at ease. After that blood-colored mark appeared on Yun Wushuang's forehead, her aura became absolutely overbearing. 
Blood-colored light began to shine from her body, looking as if the rising sun was lighting her up. She appeared extremely grand, as if she were a goddess. The most terrifying thing about her was that bloodline pressure she was releasing. It caused people to feel as if they might explode. Just how was someone supposed to fight against that? In front of that bizarre aura, even those two chosen in the distance were pale. They felt a terror that came from their innermost hearts. An ancient bloodline. Everyone was horrified. In the current cultivation world, there were several ancient powers whose inheritances stretched back into ancient times. Terrifying experts had appeared amongst their ancestors, and their bloodlines were capable of continuing for tens of thousands of years without declining. Once they activated that bloodline power, it would result in this terrifying bloodline pressure. This was a pressure that was impossible to block. Unless you also possessed an ancient bloodline or had some kind of secret technique or treasure that could block it, there was no way for you to resist such a person. Many people had already heard that Yun Wushuang's background was extremely powerful, but no one had imagined that she possessed an ancient bloodline. In other words, she came from one of those mysterious and powerful ancient families. Chu Yao and Lu Fanger were both under heavy pressure. Although that pressure was focused on Long Chen, they were still affected. The two of them felt as if their blood was being compressed. Lu Fanger was especially pale. Chu Yao hastily reached out and pressed her hand on Lu Fanger's back. Pure energy was inserted into her body. Having obtained Chu Yao's assistance, Lu Fanger immediately felt much better and smiled gratefully at her. At the same time, she was also shocked by how powerful Chu Yao was. Not only was she able to resist Yun Wushuang's bloodline suppression, she also had the energy left over to help her. Now you should know how vast the difference between us is, right? Yin Wushuang icily stared at Long Chen like a god looking at a mortal. The difference. Long Chen smiled slightly. When she had activated her bloodline pressure, Long Chen's blood truly had reacted. But it was as if his blood had been provoked. And it was like a volcano that was furiously erupting. Seeming like it wanted to release its own bloodline pressure. Long Chen had never encountered such a situation. He hadn't even been aware that he had his own bloodline pressure. But he also didn't know how to activate this power. It was due to Yun Wushuang that his bloodline energy had instinctively become excited. He was like an emperor who had been sneered at by a beggar. And so he had decided to release his own might. But this was the first time Long Chen was experiencing this. He didn't even understand what exactly this bloodline pressure was. So he didn't want to expose it. He knew nothing about his origins. But Yun Wushuang's bloodline pressure allowed him to confirm one fact. He also had to come from an ancient family, and it was definitely a family much stronger than Yun Wushuang's. Yun Wushuang's bloodline pressure might be able to suppress others, but it didn't pose any threat to Long Chen. So when Yun Wushuang asked if he understood how vast the difference between them was, he had smiled. He really had learned the difference between the two of them. They really were as different as heaven and earth. Seeing that disdainful smile of Long Chen's, Yin Wushuang's fury sword. Previously, she had been planning on killing Long Chen by relying on just her sword arts. She didn't want to bring out her full strength, but she had found her sword arts were useless against Long Chen, and so she could only summon her bloodline power. But doing so was definitely raising Long Chen's status. It was equivalent to admitting that Long Chen had the ability to fight on the same level as her. To Yin Wushuang, that was a humiliation. And now Long Chen used this expression to look at her even despite her bloodline pressure. That infuriated her even more. She brandished her sword again. And the sound of space being torn apart rang out. Dai. Having summoned out her ancient bloodline. Yin Wushuang's aura instantly reached its peak. This sword of hers caused heaven and earth to quiver. And a terrifying sword intent locked Long Chen in place. Long Chen sneered. And with his Feng Fu star circulating. His spiritual key instantly surged out. After advancing to the Tendon Transformation Realm, his spiritual key had become vast as a sea, and his body had been constantly brimming with energy. Seeing Yun Wushuang's sword slashing at him, Long Chen roared, and Devil Decapitator hacked down on her as quick as a bolt of lightning. Boom. Yun Wushuang's silver sword and Long Chen's golden Devil Decapitator collided with each other, emitting a fierce key wave. Chu Yao had long since been prepared, before that key wave even reached her. She had hastily formed hand seals, and countless wooden stakes had formed a huge shield in front of her and Lu Fanger. At the same time, it also protected Little Snow as well as the Seven Heartsia Cherry Apple Tree. The ground beneath Long Chen and Yun Wushuang's feet collapsed, and both parties were knocked back dozens of meters by the other. The instant Long Chen's foot touched the ground, 
He shot forward again. He held Devil Decapitator with both hands, swinging it out in a profound arc at Yun Wushuang. Boom. Yun Wushuang hadn't expected Long Chen to attack so quickly, and as a result, by the time she reacted, his saber had already reached her and she could only use her sword to block. One person was attacking with their full strength, while the other had to come up with a hurried defense. As a result, Yin Wushuang was knocked flying by Long Chen's saber. Although his saber had managed to send her flying, Long Chen was absolutely shocked. He hadn't held back with that attack, but Yin Wushuang wasn't injured at all. After advancing to the Tendon Transformation Realm, Long Chen's physical strength had multiplied by who knew how many times. Other than a few abnormal people, there was practically no one who could receive one of his blows. Long Chen was shocked, but Yun Wushuang was even more shocked. Although she didn't specialize in brute strength, with her bloodline assistance, she was almost able to one-shot anyone in the same realm, but she wasn't even able to completely stop Long Chen's saber. Instead, she was the one who appeared miserable as Long Chen continuously brandished his saber, forcing her back step by step. His saber flew through the air like a dragon winding around the heavens. Each one of his blows contained a terrifying power. Whenever their weapons collided, an ear-splitting explosion would ring out, and heaven and earth would change color. Boom. Under Long Chen's tempest of attacks, Yin Wushuang had been forced back a whole mile before finding a chance to retreat. HMPH, you really are quite sentimental. Even at this time, you're still trying to protect those two women behind you. Yin Wushuang's expression was gloomy. She hadn't expected that Long Chen would not only possess such a terrifying strength, but also possess such exquisite techniques. Being caught off guard just now, she had been completely flustered. Now that she finally had a chance to breathe, she noticed Long Chen was purposely trying to create distance between them, and so she mocked him. HMPH, even if you didn't want to increase the distance, I would have done it since I don't want to harm the treasure. In any case, well done for doing this. I'll first kill you as a reward before handling those two slots. Not waiting for Long Chen to reply, countless lines suddenly shone on her sword and a terrifying aura caused space to constantly warp. The instant those runes on her sword lit up, Long Chen immediately felt an intense sensation of danger. Her sword came slashing down on him. His saber once more collided with her silver sword, causing sparks to fly. The webbing between his thumb and forefinger split open, and he was forced back several steps. He was shocked. Yin Wushuang was truly strong. It was no wonder she dared arrogantly say she was capable of killing him. There was a bizarre energy that came from her sword. Long Chen's hand hadn't been able to resist it, and had ended up injured. There's something odd about this woman's sword. Long Chen felt that no matter how powerful Yin Wushuang was, she was still a woman, and in terms of physical strength, she was definitely not able to surpass him. Furthermore, when their weapons had collided, he had been shocked to find that a portion of his own energy had instead reflected back on him. This time you should understand the difference between us. However, you won't have a chance for regret. Death is your only option. So just obediently go to hell. Having forced back Long Chen with her sword, a faint ridicule appeared in her eyes. Her silver sword swung out again. Everyone was startled. They couldn't comprehend why Long Chen, who had clearly gained the upper hand previously, would now be instantly injured. From their distance, they were unable to clearly see the runes on her sword, so they were extremely astonished by this reversal. I can't continue like this. That sword is odd, and will reflect a portion of my own power. Forcibly attacking will just make me continue to lose out. Long Chen wanted to summon out his divine ring, but he wasn't sure what was going on with that sword. If that silver sword was able to endure his power even after he summoned his divine ring, then the reflective effect would probably instantly break his own hand. That was too stupid. Long Chen finally understood the importance of having a powerful background. Whether it was Han Xianfeng or Yun Wushuang, they all had countless treasures. Compared to them, Long Chen really was a poor beggar. Furthermore, he realized that after that previous blow, another peanut-sized nick had been cut into Devil Decapitator. In other words, the material his saber was made of was clearly inferior to his opponents. If it weren't for its weight advantage, his entire saber might have been cut apart by that sword. Seeing Yun Wushuang once more attack him, Long Chen took a deep breath. He ignored her sword, instead stabbing his saber directly at her chest. Chapter 370 Strange Mark Translator Born to be instead of dodging Yun Wushuang's sword, Long Chen directly stabbed his saber at her chest. Yun Wushuang's sword was three feet long, a standard size. 
But Long Chen's devil decapitator was seven feet long. Even though Long Chen was attacking after her, he still gained an advantage due to his weapon. Yin Wushuang sneered when she saw Long Chen refused to face off against her directly. She gave up on her attack and her sword blocked Long Chen's attack. Devil Decapitator once more trembled. This time Long Chen was watching closely. He saw that the runes on her sword brightened for a moment when it collided with his saber. In that instant, Long Chen sensed that 30% of his power had been absorbed and then rebounded back at him. He had to endure 30% of his own attack, as well as Yin Wushuang's own power. His wrist trembled, but this time he had been prepared, and hadn't attacked with his full strength. The backlash was much weaker this time. As I thought, Long Chen's eyes brightened. He had finally seen through some of the intricacies of this silver sword. He stepped forward, spinning in a circle, cutting Devil Decapitator in an odd arc towards Yun Wushuang's waist. He attacked like lightning, in a both bold and domineering manner. Yun Wushuang had only just blocked his previous attack. Before she could even attack again, Long Chen had already taken the initiative, taking her by surprise. Long Chen's saber was only three inches from her waist. If she was hit, then that terrifying energy behind his saber would instantly cut her in two. She hastily went to block it in horror. But what made her even more horrified was that her sword hit nothing. This incomparably bold and powerful attack of his had been nothing more than a feint. Her sword was blocking her waist, while Long Chen's saber switched angles, turning from a cut into a stab, going straight for her lower abdomen. By the time she reacted, the tip of his saber had almost reached her. Yin Wushuang let out a panicked cry and frantically dodged to the side. The sound of clothing being cut rang out. People were shocked to see that the tip of Long Chen's saber had cut open a gap in Yin Wushuang's robes, revealing a silver soft armor. Everyone was shocked. Instead of a shocking, incredibly pressuring attack, it was a simple, seemingly ordinary saber move that had almost killed Yin Wushuang. Yin Wushuang was pale with fright. Long Chen's attacks were too incisive, and there was almost no time for her to react. If it hadn't been for this soft armor, his saber would have very likely wounded her. But even so, she still felt a chill on her abdomen. As expected, she really does have many treasures. Long Chen snorted to himself. This was his first time using this kind of skillful fighting method. This kind of fighting method was extremely common in the secular world, but it was very rare in the cultivation world. Cultivators preferred to use absolute martial might to suppress their opponents. Ever since Long Chen had joined the monastery, he had also essentially used that kind of fighting method the entire time. That was because this kind of fighting method was the most direct and most effective. Amongst cultivators, they would rarely go all out against people with equal strength as them. But in the secular world, your battle experience and technical skills were extremely important as to whether or not you could survive. No one had taught Long Chen his fighting techniques. Instead, they were things he had figured out after experiencing countless life and death fights. These techniques could truly say to be things he had gained through bleeding blood and risking his life. In comparison, Yin Wushuang was essentially a greenhouse flower. She had powerful fighting strength, but in terms of fighting techniques, she was not on the same level as Long Chen. If his first attack was ineffective, then Long Chen would switch moves. There was no pressure. No grandness. It was just an ordinary saber attack with nothing special about it. But it was filled with killing power. Seeing Long Chen once more slash out at her. Sword images once more spread from Yun Wushuang's silver sword. Completely protecting her body. Continuous explosions echoed out. Long Chen attacked repeatedly. But they were all blocked by her. Yun Wushuang's sword was flying all around and had formed an airtight defense around her. Long Chen's attacks were unable to break her defense. Furthermore. Long Chen was continuously struck by the backlash from Yun Wushuang's sword. That made his hand ache, and he grumbled inside. That sword was far too evil. Long Chen didn't dare release his full strength against it. It was like Yun Wushuang was a porcupine, and she made it so others couldn't lay their hands on her. Long Chen, if I don't tear out your muscles and flay your skin today, then I won't be Yun Wushuang. Yun Wushuang had finally recovered from her previous terror. That cut on her abdomen was pure humiliation to her. Now that she saw Long Chen was unable to break her defense, her timidity faded and her anger soared. Her sword suddenly began to fly about even faster as she surprisingly took the initiative to charge forward at Long Chen. However, she didn't release any attacks. Instead, all she needed to do was protect herself. She was using the reflective runes on her sword to kill Long Chen with his own energy. There was no way to block her properly. 
Yun Wushuang's silver sword was a precious treasure that an ancestor in her family had left behind. Those runes that had been carved into it were able to rebound a portion of an enemy's strength. These runes were incredibly bizarre, and despite knowing what shape these runes were in, it was not possible to carve them into other weapons. A craftsman from Yun Wushuang's family had researched these runes for countless years, and was still unable to carve them onto another weapon. In the end, he could only conclude that these were special runes that required a special carving method. So this silver sword had become a treasure in her family. If Yun Wushuang's position in her family was not special, she wouldn't have been able to use it. Now she was using this special sword to force Long Chen into desperate straits, causing him to retreat over and over. How come I can't understand anything that's going on? There were some people who couldn't help muttering. They were completely unable to understand what was going on. At first, the two of their auras had reached a shocking level, and their pressure had forced them all back in terror. But once they had started fighting, all that imposingness had disappeared, and now their fight seemed like an ordinary, secular fight. How had they begun to fight like this? From the start, Yin Wushuang's sword had constantly been blossoming with silver light that had concealed her runes. Those people were unable to tell what was going on from so far away. Long Chen was clearly fighting evenly with her, and the fight didn't seem too intense. And yet, those sharp-eyed people were all able to see that Long Chen's hand was constantly bleeding. Chu Yao and Lu Fang'er's hearts clenched. They didn't know what to do. Should they try and help Long Chen? Long Chen basically had his hands tied against Yun Wushuang's scoundrel-like move. He didn't dare face off against her sword directly. Such a fight was far too stifling. How is it? Are you afraid now? What happened to your vigor from back then? How did you become a turtle sticking his head in his shell? Seeing that this move of hers was effective, Yun Wushuang sneered at Long Chen. While blocking her, Long Chen was constantly wondering what to do. Continuing like this was far too passive. You care a lot about that woman. Right? Then I'll kill her right now and see whether you can still keep your head in your shell. Yin Wushuang's sword images suddenly disappeared from in front of Long Chen. She had used some kind of unknown footwork to become like a phantom rushing towards Chu Yao and Lu Fang Er. Careful. Long Chen was startled, and immediately used his footwork to catch up. Little Snow was connected to his mind, so he was the first to react. He immediately opened his mouth and spat out a wind blade at Yin Wushuang. Yin Wushuang snorted and her sword broke apart Little Snow's wind blade. Now that she had activated her bloodline power, she was incredibly terrifying. Chu Yaona reacted and formed a hand seal in front of her. Countless wooden stakes shot out of the ground, aiming to bind Yin Wushuang. Flickering light, sweeping shadow. Just as Yin Wushuang was about to be bound, she used some kind of unknown technique to turn into a shadow that passed through those wooden staves, arriving in front of Chu Yao. Her sword flashed silver as it cut across the void, bringing with it endless pressure. This sword caused all of heaven and earth to change color. It was clearly a full-strength blow. She wanted Chu Yao and Lu Fang Er to die so that Long Chen would be filled with pain. Long Chen was rushing back as fast as he could, but it was too late for him to save them. His eyes had turned scarlet, almost as if they were about to emit flames. 10,000 wood shield. Countless wooden stakes shot out of the ground and formed layer after layer in front of Chu Yao. Bang! Wooden fragments shot everywhere. Yin Wushuang's sword destroyed Chu Yao's huge wooden shield. Chu Yao, Lu Fang Er, and Little Snow were all sent flying by a terrifying key wave, smashing into the cliff behind her. Little Snow reacted first and placed his body in front of the cliff so that Lu Fang Er and Chu Yao smashed into his softer body. But even so, since their constitutions were so weak, they still received a heavy impact, and blood overflowed from their mouths. Their internal injuries were not light. If Little Snow hadn't used his body to block for the two of them, then it was very likely for the two of them to have died. Oh, you didn't die. Yin Wushuang was extremely startled that Chu Yao was able to block one of her attacks. That attack of hers had been released with hate, and she hadn't held back at all. She really did hate Long Chen now. Once Long Chen had appeared here, Yin Wushuang's women's intuition had told her that his relationship with Chu Yao was not ordinary. Long Chen had caused her prestige to drop, and he had then refused to clash with her directly in their fighting just now, so she had been unable to kill him, that was why she wanted to kill Chu Yao and Lu Fang Er first, also she could provoke Long Chen, once Long Chen was consumed by his fury and began to clash with her directly, he would definitely die, since you didn't die, then try and receive another blow, Yin Wushuang was delighted in being able to get revenge on Long Chen, and her sword once more shone brightly, 
Just as she was preparing to attack again, her body suddenly stiffened, and she felt as if she was being stared at by some ancient monster. At the same time, a voice that was as cold as 10,000-year-old ice rang out. Die. Chapter 371 A Golden Saber Tears Apart the Void Translator Born to be Die. It was as if a death god was demanding her life. A terrifying aura instantly locked Yun Wushuang in place. She felt as if the space around her had frozen. She was absolutely horrified and managed to turn back to see a 300-meter ring of light had appeared behind Long Chen. That ring caused the void to rumble and the nine heavens to quiver. The current Long Chen truly seemed like an awakened battle god. Endless killing intent surged out of him. A killing intent that could cause even gods and devils to shudder. Being stared at by Long Chen, Yin Wushuang felt goosebumps. And she felt a burst of numbness. Her heart was filled with the terror of death. Devil Decapitator ripped open the void. People were horrified to see that as Long Chen's saber swung, ripples appeared in the air around it. That was what happened when one's power reached a certain pinnacle. It would cause space to twist around it like this. At this moment, everyone felt suffocated by Long Chen's power. Even before Long Chen's saber arrived at Yun Wushuang, golden saber light had already filled the sky. Heaven and earth already felt as if they were being torn apart, and even the stars above were trembling. Yun Wushuang had never, ever imagined that Long Chen was so terrifying. Previously, he had yet to bring out his full power. In front of his current power level, she was unable to even dodge. The only thing she could do was clench her teeth and suppress her fear. She poured in all her energy into her silver sword. With all of Yun Wushuang's spiritual key supporting it, her sword began to shine brightly, and surging key waves began to erupt from it. Falling leaf slash. Boom. The golden saber and silver sword collided together. This was a collision that could shake the entire world. A collision that could cause the starlight to collapse. Rumbling filled the world. And a terrifying wave of energy exploded out. Wherever the key wave passed, dust and dirt soared into the air. It was as if an angry sea wave was baptizing the land. After that baptism, the entire world had become a mess. The wooden shield that Chu Yao had just set up around her burst apart with a light cracking sound. Crumbling fragments littered the ground. However, Chu Yao's wooden shield had still managed to protect Lu Fanger and Little Snow, as well as the Seven Heartsia Cherry Apple Tree. When she finally saw what was in front of her, anguish touched her eyes. Long Chen had been injured. Long Chen was still holding his saber, but both his arms were badly mangled. It was unknown what kind of energy had exploded within them, but blood was pouring out. Long Chen's forearm didn't have much flesh on it anymore. His bones and tendons could clearly be seen in a horrifying sight. Furthermore, in front of him was the insufferably arrogant Yun Wushuang. Her face was pale as paper, and blood drenched her chest. In fact, some of her broken organs were present as well. She was looking at Long Chen with absolute horror. Her silver sword was a priceless treasure, but a treasure also required a corresponding strength in order to draw out its full potential. Yun Wushuang's strength was limited. Although she was able to reflect a portion of his attack, she still needed to be able to endure 70% of the force. In Long Chen's fury, he had activated his divine ring, and his strength had explosively grown. He clearly hadn't cared about the price of having his arms break down. His berserk power had shaken Yun Wushuang's insides, breaking her inner organs. If her cultivation base wasn't so powerful, or if it were any other chosen, their bodies would have already completely exploded. Long Chen's attack had given her extremely heavy internal injuries. She had to quickly find a place to heal, or there was still a worry of her losing her life. This world rocking attack had caused both of them to be injured. Long Chen's outer injuries appeared shocking, while Yun Wushuang's internal injuries were not any better. Long Chen stepped forward, his divine ring vibrated, and a heaven overflowing aura surged out. He charged at Yun Wushuang, his expression so icy that it caused people's hearts to shudder. Seeing Long Chen charge forward valiantly without fear of death or caring the slightest bit about his injuries, looking as if he would pay any price to kill her, Yin Wushuang became terrified. She was finally, truly afraid. Long Chen was far stronger than what she had anticipated, and he was definitely strong enough to kill her. The most frightening thing was Long Chen's excessively strong killing intent. Seeing Long Chen's saber coming at her, she didn't dare take it head on. She quickly dodged. However, that was a fatal mistake. Long Chen's attack could not be dodged in that manner. After she dodged the first slash, Long Chen's wrist twisted and he slashed down sideways at her waist. The most important part of saber arts was to be imposing. The exact style didn't matter. 
To choose to dodge in the front of a saber was equivalent to choosing to be defeated. By the time Yun Wushuang realized her mistake, Long Chen's saber had almost reached her waist, scaring her out of her wits. She instinctively blocked with her sword, but Long Chen's power was too astonishing. Her sudden block was fundamentally incapable of completely blocking the way of his saber. His attack still ended up slashing into her waist. Blood spurted forth madly. If it hadn't been for that soft armor protecting her, she would have been cut in two. Even so, that attack had broken several of her ribs, and she was sent flying through the air, appearing incredibly miserable. However, Long Chen didn't have it much better. This attack worsened the injuries on his arms. Those distant spectators only saw countless bloody beads explode from his arms. In fact, some of his flesh also fell to the ground. All of them turned pale with terror just from that sight. This kind of fight was far too bizarre, and far too bloody. Long Chen's arms were basically down to only bones now. However, somehow Long Chen's expression was still calm without the slightest panic. Endless killing intent still surfaced from his eyes. Chu Yao's hands were clenched tightly in front of her. For Long Chen to be injured was even harder for her to bear than being injured herself. She wished she could take his place to bear those injuries. Yin Wushuang's body had just landed on the ground. Before she could even react, Long Chen's saber came slashing down from the heaven. She was incomparably appalled. With her life on the line, she raised her silver sword as her final defense. Bang! Yin Wushuang went tumbling across the ground for dozens of meters, vomiting blood the entire way. A bloody mist shot out of Long Chen's arms from this attack. Even the flesh of his shoulders was starting to split apart. Crack! Suddenly, a light sound rang out. Immediately afterward, the sound of a weapon landing on the ground rang out in everyone's ears. Everyone followed the sound, and many involuntarily let out a shocked cry. Yin Wushuang's sword's broken. Yin Wushuang was foolishly staring at her sword. Half of the blade had been snapped off. Her face instantly lost all of its color. This was a sword passed down in her family. Although she was allowed to use it, that didn't mean she had the authority to damage it. For a moment, Yin Wushuang was shocked, infuriated and incredibly distressed. Seeing that her sword was finally broken, Long Chen immediately went to attack her again. Without that crazy sword, he finally had no more misjivings. Devil Decapitator slashed out, his aura locking Yun Wushuang in place. Long Chen, I definitely won't let you off. So just wait. A bitter expression appeared on Yun Wushuang's face as she glared at Long Chen. She actually ignored his saber. Sheet. Just from that posture, Long Chen knew what was about to happen. And as he expected, just as he was about to cut through her body, she suddenly disappeared. His saber missed, instead cutting a long ditch into the ground. Another teleportation talisman. Long Chen felt profoundly helpless. Not only was Yun Wushuang powerful, she also had countless treasures. Her life-preserving treasures never stopped coming out. Now he had risked it all and been heavily injured, but he had still failed to kill her. He couldn't help feeling a bit dispirited. He was no longer able to keep hold of Devil Decapitator, and he collapsed on the ground. Currently, his hands were nothing more than two bone hands, without the slightest flesh or blood. Kill him. But even after that shout, no one dared move. They all just silently watched. Although Long Chen's arms were heavily injured and he wasn't even able to hold his weapon anymore, that battle just now had already broken all their courage. They knew this was the most opportune moment to kill him. That was especially true of Yun Wushuang's guards. If they could kill Long Chen, they would definitely get an immense reward. That shout had been from one of them. Originally, he had thought he could excite everyone with a desire to kill Long Chen for his treasures, but he hadn't expected that even with Long Chen heavily injured, not a single person dared attack him, kill him. It was the exact same sentence, but this time it came from Long Chen's mouth. A wind blade suddenly shot out like a bolt of lightning, a head soared into the sky and blood spurted out. That person who had shouted just now had been instantly killed. It had happened so quickly that the person was already dead before any of them had even reacted. Every single one of them was horrified and retreated. That attack had naturally been from Little Snow. With their mental connection, the instant Long Chen had an urge to kill, Little Snow would be prepared. So Long Chen's voice had essentially rung out at the same time as that head had flown into the air. That person had just been an insignificant core disciple but even a favored would not have been able to dodge that silent attack. Little Snow was extremely smart and knew how to use the least amount of energy to kill his opponents. At the same time, this meant Little Snow's control over his wind energy had reached a high level. For a magical beast like Little Snow, 
to have such precise control over their strength was practically inconceivable, almost heaven defying. Long Chen, how can you slaughter an innocent person like that? raged one of the chosen who had arrived with Yun Wushuang. However, although he seemed infuriated, he was hiding far away. Long Chen was too lazy to bother with him. He merely icily said, I don't care about innocence or guilt, but every person who takes action in an attempt to kill me had better be prepared to be killed by me instead. The rest of you can scram, but you three should stay behind. Little Snow, a large wind blade shot out towards some hidden undergrowth. Three miserable screams rang out from the undergrowth. Three people had been cut in two by Little Snow's attack. Those three were the ones who had first noticed Chu Yao extracting the tree heart. Chu Yao had been too soft-hearted and hadn't killed them, and thus they had decided to play a dirty trick, resulting in the later mess. Before Long Chen had come onto the scene, he had already used a spirit pill to exchange for some information from someone about what had happened. He had long since placed those three on his must-kill list. Previously, he hadn't had the time to bother with them. But now that everything was over and seeing that they still had been unwilling to leave, he might as well send them off. Seeing Long Chen was so tyrannical, killing people without batting an eye, filled everyone with terror. They finally began to scatter, because they knew that even a heavily injured Long Chen wasn't someone they could place their intentions on. Let me heal you. Chu Yao came and placed her hand on Long Chen's back. A pure life energy poured into his body, at a rate visible to the naked eye. His arms were quickly growing new flesh. Feeling the sensation of his flesh regrowing, Long Chen couldn't help sighing over how wood cultivators were so miraculous. He was about to say something when a certain figure walked out from in front. Chapter 372 Seeing her again translator, born to be seeing that figure, Long Chen's body instantly stiffened, and he even forgot to breathe. Meng. Qi. The person who had come had willowy eyebrows, eyes like limpid autumn waters, and shapely lips. A waterfall of black hair cascaded down to her waist. She seemed like an immortal who had descended amongst mortals, filled with a transcendent, untainted charm. That woman was Menki. Menki looked at Long Chen with eyes filled with delight. Two scarlet clouds appeared on her otherwise jade-like face. In the blink of an eye, they had been separated for over a year. Long Chen had grown far too much during that time. Menki could sense the berserk energy hidden inside his body. It was as if Long Chen was a dormant volcano. Normally, you wouldn't be able to see anything. But once it erupted, it could exterminate the world. The thing that made her heart tremble the most was that in this year, all the immaturity on Long Chen's face had disappeared, replaced by a determined smile. Long Chen, it's been a while. A bit of panic appeared in Men Qi's eyes. She had opened her mouth and had had no idea what to say, in the end saying a simple, standard greeting. You must be seen your sister Men Qi? Sister really is beautiful. Chu Yao now spoke out, even as a woman. She greatly admired Menki's beauty. Menki possessed a unique mannerism that was able to make all living things admire her, making people unconsciously form a good opinion of her. You must be junior sister Chu Yao? I've heard of you. Facing Long Chen, Menki was a bit nervous, but facing Chu Yao, she was much more relaxed. Chu Yao was delighted. Long Chen had already told her about Menki, and now seeing that Menki didn't have any negative reaction to her allowed her to sigh in relief. She had just been about to reply when a voice rang out. Men Qi, do you know her? Only now did Long Chen realize there was a long-haired man behind Men Qi. With his delicate features, he truly was extremely handsome. But it seemed he was displeased that Men Qi was talking to them. Oh, Long Chen? You are that Long Chen. That man's expression suddenly turned cold. Correct. I am Long Chen. And you would be Feng Xiaozi. Long Chen became slightly irritated because he had guessed this person's identity. Arrogant. Do you think the name of this junior pavilion master can be spoken by you? The long-haired man's expression sunk. As Long Chen had thought, this fellow was Feng Xiaozi. His fury immediately soared. If his hand wasn't still injured, he would have definitely given him an especially big slap in the face Novaloon.com although the flesh of his hand had grown out at this time. This new flesh was still tender like a baby's. If he did slap him, it wouldn't cause any damage to Feng Xiaozi but it would definitely mangle his flesh. Junior Pavilion Master, Long Chen is not a member of the Wind Spirit Pavilion, and he doesn't need to call you by your title, interrupted Lu Fang Er. Feng Xiaozi was the Pavilion Master's son, and as a person, he was arrogant and aloof, stubborn and self-opinionated. He enjoyed using his status to suppress others. In the entire Wind Spirit Pavilion, other than those people who deliberately sucked up to him, 
there was not a single person who liked running into him. Lu Fang'er was Men Qi's good sister, and the two of them were even closer than real sisters. In order to give Men Qi a good impression, Feng Xiaozi didn't wish to offend Lu Fang'er. As for Lu Fang'er, because Feng Xiaozi constantly pestered Men Qi, causing her to be constantly distressed, she naturally had nothing nice to say to him. Although Feng Xiaozi hated Lu Fang'er, he could only put on a magnanimous and open-minded act for the sake of Men Qi, and so he had always endured. But now Lu Fang'er's words caused his expression to sink. If this had just been in front of Men Qi, that would have been one thing, but now she was contradicting him in front of this many outsiders. Many of those distant spectators were experts who were secretly watching, immediately putting him on the spot. Men Qi suddenly interjected, Long Chen is my friend. I hope the junior pavilion master won't make things hard on him, or everyone might end up affected. Her words were extremely flat, but it was obvious she was taking Long Chen's side, which caused Feng Xiaozi to become even more infuriated. Feng Xiaozi glared at Long Chen without saying anything. He had placed all his hatred on Long Chen now. Long Chen sighed in relief inside when he saw Men Qi take his side, and he was filled with delight. This feeling was much better than giving Feng Xiaozi a slap in the face. Sister Chu Yao, how did you end up here together? Men Qi amicably asked Chu Yao. Chu Yao was an amiable person with a warm temperament, which was similar to Men Qi. The two of their temperaments were very similar, and so it was easy for Men Qi to form a good opinion of her. It's because I noticed this seven hearts a cherry apple tree heart. Chu Yao already felt that Men Qi was one of them, and so she didn't hide anything. Both Men Qi and Feng Xiaozi were surprised by that ancient tree. There were many kinds of tree hearts, but this particular one was definitely top grade. It was absolutely priceless. I've taken quite the liking to this tree heart. How about you give it to me? You can ask for any price. Suddenly said Feng Xiaozi. Chu Yao's expression immediately changed. This tree heart was a must-have treasure for her cultivation. How could it be given to others? She turned to look at Long Chen. Seeing that Chu Yao didn't reply and instead looked at Long Chen. Feng Xiaozi was a bit irritated and said, It seems like you, Long Chen, can decide. So, you wouldn't refuse to even give me this little face, right? Men Qi and Lu Fang'er's expressions were icy. Feng Xiaozi was truly an intolerable bully. They were about to speak when Long Chen took the lead. Your face really is worth pretty much nothing. At least, in front of me, it's not even worth a single piece of dog sheet. You, Feng Xiaozi raged, in the Wind Spirit Pavilion. Not even elders would dare speak to Feng Xiaozi in that manner. Don't be in a rush. I'm not finished yet. I have a really good temperament, and anything can be discussed. As long as Sister Fang'er helps me out a bit, then I can decide to give this tree heart to you, said Long Chen. Chu Yao and Lu Fang'er were both confused. That was especially true of Chu Yao. She understood Long Chen the best, and he definitely wouldn't take her things to give to others. What help? Lu Fang'er was at a complete loss. Long Chen glanced at Men Qi and bashfully said, I've been doing pretty well in the Zhuanshan Super Monastery during this time, and I've made a little bit of money. I'm preparing to take a wife. Being stared at by Long Chen, Men Qi's jade face reddened. According to the secular world standards, Men Qi was essentially already Long Chen's wife. She had just yet to take that final marriage step. In order to marry a wife, I first have to buy a house. I've purchased a cave in the monastery and decorated it extremely luxuriously. There is only one matter that fills me with regret. Arriving here, Long Chen sighed extremely dramatically, appearing extremely sorrowful. What matter? Lu Fang'er had no idea what drug Long Chen had taken. My cave is extremely lavish. Gold covers the ground. Gems are piled like mountains. And even the dozens of miles of stairs that led up to the entrance are tiled with spirit stones. There are over 80 levels that are embedded what nonsense. That's absolutely impossible. Using spirit stones just for stairs? Over 80 levels? Who are you trying to trick? Feng Xiaozi wasn't able to endure it any longer. Let alone an insignificant monastery disciple. Even he, the Wind Spirit Pavilion's junior pavilion master, didn't have that many spirit stones to play around with. Just how many spirit stones would it take to tile dozens of miles of stairs? Furthermore. What kind of cave had stairs that were dozens of miles long? Then just how big was this cave? I have money, and I am willing to spend it. So what? Long Chen glared at him, looking as if he might bite him if he refused to accept this. Men Qi was bitterly holding back her laughter. Long Chen was obviously just shooting off his mouth. However, 
She didn't know just why Long Chen would act so senseless, so she just continued listening. Fine, then just keep bragging, sneered Feng Xiao Zi. So in this extremely luxurious cave, everything is complete, but I am just lacking something good to place in front of the entrance. Sister Fanger, I want to ask if your Wind Spirit Pavilion has anything suitable and can help me out. I just need something suitable for the front of my cave. The best option would be something along the lines of a Junior Pavilion Pig or Junior Pavilion Bull. Just name your price. In any case, I have plenty of treasures. And even if you want this tree heart for it, I wouldn't mind. Long Chen said this all with a straight face, putting on an attitude of a businessman who would treat anyone fairly. Men Qi, Chu Yao, and Lu Fanger finally understood that Long Chen had babbled all kinds of nonsense all to curse Feng Xiao Zi. This fellow really was mischievous. Junior Pavilion Pig? Junior Pavilion Bull? What are those? Magical beasts? My Wind Spirit Pavilion doesn't have any low-grade trash. HMPH. Bumpkins really are bumpkins. You don't even know how to ask for anything good. If you just need a dog for your gate, I can give you a fourth rank magical beast. How's that? Sneered Feng Xiao Zi. Long Chen couldn't help being stunned. Just how stupid was Feng Xiao Zi? He had already said everything so clearly, and yet he still didn't understand. Lu Fanger was the first to be unable to endure it. Covering her mouth, she turned away. She could no longer face Feng Xiao Zi's haughty face. After her, Men Qi and Chu Yao also turned away, their shoulders constantly trembling. That was because when Feng Xiao Zi's haughty expression was added in with Long Chen's astonished expression, it was simply unbearable. Seeing the three of them turn around, Long Chen's stunned expression of disbelief, and recalling what Long Chen had just said, Feng Xiao Zi finally understood. Go to hell. A translucent sword suddenly stabbed towards Long Chen. Long Chen was about to block when Men Qi pointed a finger. A powerful wind whistled, causing the sword that Feng Xiao Zi had condensed from spiritual strength to explode. I've already said that Long Chen is my friend. Don't force me Junior Pavilion Master. Men Qi's expression was slightly icy. Men Qi, you. He's just a notorious pervert and traitor. Why are you friends with him? Feng Xiao Zi was unable to endure it anymore. He had been putting in a supreme effort to control himself in front of Men Qi, but seeing her protect Long Chen was the last straw. A powerful spiritual strength shot out, and even those distant spectators felt a sharp pain in their souls as if needles were stabbing them. However, the four people present all had powerful spiritual strength and were able to resist this spiritual pressure. Feng Xiao Zi, I've had to put up with you for a long time. Now I'm going to go out with my friends. If you don't like it, you can leave. Don't try to smear others. Men Qi's tone now held a trace of fury. Good, good, good. You're all targeting me. Fine, I'll leave. Feng Xiao Zi ground his teeth in fury. In the end, before leaving, he pointed at Long Chen. Brat, just wait. By opposing me, you definitely won't have a good ending. Long Chen's fury soared. But at this point, he couldn't fight. He could only smile silently as Feng Xiao Zi left. Long Chen knew that sometimes just a smile had far greater destructive power than words. And as he had expected, seeing Long Chen just smiling as he looked at him, Feng Xiao Zi practically went crazy with rage. He snorted and left without looking back. Chapter 373 Honeyed Tender Feelings Translator Born to be after Feng Xiao Zi left, the four of them all looked at each other. Long Chen suddenly began to laugh and the three women couldn't help following along. Long Chen, you really are bad, rebuked Lu Fanger. Previously, she hadn't understood Long Chen's intentions and had been confused for a long time, but a bad person like him really should be handled in that manner. That's enough of that topic for now. Sister Chu Yao, we'll protect you. Extract the tree heart, said Men Qi. Chu Yao nodded. She hadn't been able to extract the tree heart before because the process was very complicated and time-consuming. But now with all of them protecting her, she could finally relax. She walked up to the seven hearts a cherry apple tree and began to form hand seals. Countless wooden stakes grew out of the ground, tightly binding the tree. Long Chen and the others didn't dare be careless. Although the majority of people had left, there were still quite a few people hiding around who were still unwilling to leave. But having been cowed by Long Chen, those hidden spectators didn't dare do anything. And in the end, they could only leave. Long Chen could sense that one that had even reached the chosen level. That person gave Long Chen quite a bit of pressure. He couldn't help sighing inside. There really were countless geniuses that had entered the secret realm. Who knew how many dark horses were present? Boom. The wooden stake scattered. 
revealing Chu Yao. Currently, Chu Yao was smiling sweetly and she was filled with excitement. I've obtained the tree heart. A small block of wood was in her hand. It almost looked like jade, and it was the size of a person's heart. It emitted an incredibly dense life aura. This is the tree heart? It really does look like a heart, but it's a lot smaller than I thought it would be. Lu Fanger curiously looked at it. In truth, the tree heart should have been much bigger, probably the size of a millstone. But this tree heart is a top grade tree heart. A tree heart is something that all the life energy of an ancient tree is concentrated within. Once the tree dies, it just has to wait for an opportunity for nirvanic rebirth. Furthermore, the seven hearts a cherry apple tree is different from other spiritual trees. It gives birth to seven tree hearts, and as time passes, all seven tree hearts energy gathers into one tree heart. The final tree heart contains all the best essence of the tree. After it gathers enough energy over time, it will begin the rebirth process. As for this tree heart, it has just reached its saturation point and had been on the verge of undergoing nirvanic rebirth. The energy within it has been suppressed to a pinnacle, which is why it's so small. Chu Yao was smiling extremely excitedly. Congratulations on obtaining a top treasure sister. In the future, your cultivation will definitely rapidly progress. Smiled Men Qi. Thank you sister. Chu Yao also smiled sweetly back. Hey, hey, hey. Wasn't I the one who put in the most effort? Chu Yao, you can't discriminate against me like this, said Long Chen with some jealousy. Seeing Long Chen's wronged manner, the three women's bell-like laughter tinkled out. Even though they knew Long Chen was just acting on purpose, they still found it funny. Let's go. This place has too many people watching in the distance. Men Qi frowned slightly. Long Chen was slightly surprised. He spread out his divine sense, and found it was just as she said. There were still people watching them from several miles away. He was profoundly shocked by Men Qi's spiritual strength. It was no wonder the Wind Spirit Pavilion would go all out to raise her. Her spiritual strength was far, far too strong. If Men Qi hadn't said that, he wouldn't have even noticed those spectators. Woo woo. Little Snow suddenly walked over and spoke to Men Qi. You remember my scent? Men Qi looked at Little Snow with surprise. Long Chen was also surprised. Men Qi was actually able to understand Little Snow's spiritual fluctuations? That was the first time he had ever encountered such a thing. Other than himself, he had never encountered a single person who could understand Little Snow. He and Little Snow were spiritually and mentally connected. That was the only reason he could comprehend him. But this was the first time Men Qi was meeting Little Snow, and she was able to understand his spiritual fluctuations. That was absolutely amazing. Aya, you don't remember? It's the Scarlet Flame Snow Wolf you gave Long Chen back then, reminded Lu Fang Er. It's you. Men Qi looked at Little Snow with shock. She finally saw a patch of red fur on his forehead, recognizing his identity. After advancing to the fourth rank, a mutation had occurred in Little Snow's body, and he no longer looked the same as other Scarlet Flame Snow Wolves. That was why Men Qi hadn't been able to recognize him at first. Little Snow will bring us away from here for now. Long Chen was the first to jump onto Little Snow's back. After him, the three women also jumped up. Little Snow let out a low growl and turned into a white phantom that instantly disappeared from this mountain opening. Once they left, those hidden spectators also dispersed. However, that wasn't before they rapidly distributed photographic jades of this shocking and bizarre battle. When those photographic jades spread, Long Chen's name once more shocked both the righteous and corrupt paths. These photographic jades were far different from the one showing his fiendish and perverted ways. In his intense fight with Yun Wushuang, he had forced her into a disadvantage multiple times, and in the end, if it weren't for her using a teleportation talisman, she would have very likely been killed by him. Long Chen had displayed a shocking battle prowess, especially after he had summoned out that divine ring. When he collided with someone as powerful as Yun Wushuang, the might of their battle had astonished everyone who saw it. Yun Wushuang was someone who came from an ancient family. In other words, she possessed an ancient bloodline and she was innately far more talented than ordinary people. Then adding on her bloodline suppression and her countless treasures, there was not a single person who was not shocked by her defaturing after seeing those photographic jades. There were several sharp-eyed people who were able to tell from some clues that Yun Wushuang's sword had possessed a bizarre reflective ability. After learning that, people were even more shocked. Despite possessing that reflective ability and being so strong, Yun Wushuang had still been defeated. Furthermore, Long Chen had even broken her sword. What level of terrifying was that? At the same time, 
There were people who learned from some back channels that Long Chen had been ranked number two on the corrupt paths must kill list within Su Prefecture. That had completely astonished them. By now, everyone had placed Long Chen on the same level as Han Shianiu, Yin Luo, and Mo Nian. As for those previous photographic jades of Long Chen carrying out his perverted, fiendish actions, there weren't very many people who paid heed to them any longer. The truth was obvious. Those previous photographic jades of Long Chen had been cut off at the beginning and end, so someone was definitely hiding the whole story. Now those photographic jades of this intense fight between Long Chen and Yun Wushuang appeared. People were even more sure that there had been someone who had just been purposely smearing Long Chen's name. First of all, the woman Long Chen had killed might not be ugly, but at best she could just count as above average. She was no top beauty. In the cultivation world, there were far more beautiful people. Who would be so bored as to select her? Secondly, with Long Chen's powerful cultivation base, would he really need to go rape a woman? With that kind of power, who knew how many women would throw themselves into his arms? The thing that mostly made people feel that those previous accusations were ridiculous was that disdainful will that had erupted from Long Chen when he had fought. Just what level of pride did Long Chen have? How could he possibly do something so idiotic and contemptible? People were finally completely convinced that there was someone who had been pulling the strings the entire time, and this person had purposely sent people to throw mud at Long Chen's name. Furthermore, before the two had fought, Long Chen had exchanged words with Yun Wushuang. The smart people were all able to tell from some clues in their dialogue that Yun Wushuang was one of those people pulling the strings behind the curtains. If the matter didn't concern themselves, then they wouldn't care at all. That seemed to be an iron law of the righteous path. But there was one good thing about righteous disciples, that was that none of them could keep secrets. Furthermore, they all liked to be spectators and watch the liveliness. That fight had not only resulted in Long Chen defeating Yun Wushuang, but it had also resulted in him clearing his name. However, those people who were spreading these photographic jades weren't doing it out of kindness. They just wanted to see who exactly was targeting Long Chen, and what the final result between them would be. As for Long Chen, he didn't care about any of that. After leaving the mountain opening, he brought his group to a quiet place for everyone to rest and talk about what they had experienced. During that time, Chu Yao excused herself by saying she needed to research the tree heart, while Lu Fanger found another random excuse and left, leaving behind only Long Chen and Men Qi. When just the two of them were left, Men Qi clearly became a bit more nervous. She blushed, and neither of them spoke for a while. Long Chen just watched Men Qi expressionlessly. Men Qi reddened even more, and she rebuked. What are you looking at me for? Because you're beautiful. I often see your face in my dreams, but when I awake, everything's gone. Now I feel like I'm dreaming again, sighed Long Chen. After saying that, Long Chen's heart began to pound harder, and he looked up at the sky with worry. If he were to be struck by sudden lightning, he had to be prepared. Cultivators almost never slept. So how could he have possibly dreamt anything? But in order to express how much he thought of Men Qi, he had no choice but to make something up. Thank you. Men Qi blushed bashfully and lowered her head. I should be the one thanking you. When you appeared, you filled my life with sunshine, and I found what direction I had to strive for. Only under your light can I truly grow, said Long Chen solemnly. PFFT. What lies? How is it at all that exaggerated? This must be how you tricked Sister Chu Yao. Men Qi erupted into laughter. Ah, it's over. I've been exposed. I definitely didn't control the intensity enough. Looking at Men Qi's body quivering with laughter, her beautiful face looking like a blooming flower, Long Chen actually turned into an imbecile and forgot what he was about to say. As for Men Qi, seeing Long Chen just foolishly staring at her, she was both shy and happy, warmth filling her heart. Although Long Chen's gaze was a bit sluggish at the moment, his eyes were as clear as water. A completely different look from other people. Being stared at by him didn't make her angry. Instead, she even felt a bit happy. You're really beautiful. Long Chen involuntarily said that. Men Qi's beauty was like an immortal who had descended onto the world. And she possessed an air as if she were above the common mortals. But when she smiled, it made people feel as if they had instantly entered a fairyland. And even their hearts and spirits would be baptized. And their souls would sublimate to a higher realm. That level of beautiful was an absolute pinnacle. Men Qi, you should smile more in the future. Your smile is really too good looking. Long Chen held her hand. Having her hand held by Long Chen, Men Qi's body shook. Seeing that Long Chen's expression was completely sincere now, she felt a burst of warmth. 
Suddenly, footsteps rang out and Meng Qi jumped in fright, hastily pulling back her hand. Long Chen had only just had a chance to hold Men Qi's hand. He hadn't even had a chance to enjoy that ecstatic feeling when those hurried footsteps rang out, infuriating him. He was just about to curse whoever it was that had come when his expression changed slightly. Chapter 374 Yun Luo's Whereabouts Translator Born to be the person who had come possessed a powerful aura that caused space to twist around him. He was surprisingly a chosen. His clothes marked him as a righteous disciple. But the shocking thing was that his eyes were absent-minded, and his aura was chaotic. His life force was rapidly fading. That person seemed to have lost himself in panic, and his expression was full of terror. He was fleeing with all his might, not even caring about the direction. He was coincidentally running in Long Chen and Men Qi's direction. That person was still dozens of meters away when he suddenly collapsed on the ground. Long Chen and Men Qi hastily went over. Let me. Men Qi had been about to extend her hand when Long Chen stopped her. He ran up to him and swept his divine sense over his entire body. Only when he didn't find any anomalies did he turn him around. Wake up. What happened? Corrupt. Corrupt. That person was already on the verge of dissociating. His eyes were losing all their light, and he was replying completely unconsciously. Long Chen's heart chilled. From his previous examination, he had already seen that all this person's meridians had exploded. Normally, he shouldn't have even had any energy to even run. It was unknown what secret technique he had used. He had overdrafted his life force to continue fleeing. But his life force was no longer able to continue. His body was already starting to decompose. Long Chen hastily poured his spiritual key into his body. What happened? With the assistance of Long Chen's spiritual key, that person regained the slightest bit of energy. Corrupt path. Yin Luo killing. Stealing. Where is he killing people? Asked Long Chen hastily. But after saying those last six words, this person was no longer able to hold on. His head tilted to the side, and his life force was completely severed. His entire body's meridians have exploded, and the majority of his bones are broken. It looks like he was crushed by a kind of a multi-target attack. Long Chen's expression was solemn. Who could be so powerful that they could launch a group attack that is capable of one-shotting chosen? Men Qi was shocked. But then her expression changed. That Yun Luo he mentioned. He was referring to the corrupt path's top expert. Long Chen nodded. That's the most likely scenario. Other than Yun Luo's natural energy attacks, I don't know any other kind of power that can practically decompose a chosen. Just from looking at this person's injuries, Long Chen could tell that that bastard's ability to control natural energy had advanced once more. Yin Luo truly was terrifying. At this time, Chu Yao and Lu Fanger had also rushed back due to the clamor. When they heard what had happened, their expressions changed. The corrupt path's number one expert, Yin Luo, was in the vicinity. That gave them a great deal of pressure. Just Yin Wushuang was already terrifying. But now the corrupt path's number one expert, the one equally famed as Han Shianayu, was near them. Those two were truly unrevealed existences within their generation. What should we do? Should we leave? Said Lu Fanger worriedly. We can't. As members of the righteous path, we must be chivalrous, help out the weak, and uphold justice. I've decided to get revenge for this brother. Long Chen shook his head, appearing like the picture of righteousness. Men Qi and Lu Fanger couldn't help being stunned. They hadn't imagined Long Chen would suddenly practically turn into a different person. Men Qi advised, Long Chen, it's not like you had any relationship with this person. Sister, you've been duped. How would Long Chen have such good intentions as to getting this person a revenge? He's just trying to kill people for their treasures. Chu Yao pulled on Men Qi's hand and laughed. Cough. Did you have to say it so directly? How about this? I will carry the pretense of stealing treasure all so that I can get revenge for this brother. After all, he did give me some clues, said Long Chen with some embarrassment. Men Qi and Lu Fanger looked at each other in dismay. Long Chen wanted to kill the number one expert of the corrupt path for his treasures? That was too crazy. Are you serious Long Chen? Men Qi and Lu Fanger asked at the same time. Sisters, you must still be unaware. Long Chen is already acquainted with that Yun Luo. Before the Jiuli secret realm opened, there was a great righteous and corrupt path war. For some reason. Yin Luo was sent to Long Chen's particular war zone, and as a result, Long Chen severed one of his legs, said Chu Yao. Is that true? Men Qi and Lu Fanger were both shocked. That was far too hard to believe. Chu Yao told them about what had happened in that battle. From beginning to end, Men Qi and Lu Fanger were incomparably shocked. 
They had never imagined Long Chen had grown to such a terrifying realm. Back when they had first met him, Long Chen had been only at the third heaven stage of key condensation. But in just over a year, Long Chen was now able to stand shoulder to shoulder with peak experts like Yun Luo and Mo Nian. That battle didn't really count. It was only because I had Mo Nian and Chu Yao with me that we won in the end. If it had just been myself, I would have been completely oppressed by Yun Luo. Long Chen bitterly smiled. He had never considered himself to have been that amazing in that battle, as it had only been won through everyone's contribution. Men Qi shook his head and praised. That's not the same. At that time, you were only at blood condensation. While Yun Luo had reached tendon transformation, you were separated by a major realm. Long Chen, you really are powerful. Although countless people had praised him and he had seen countless worshipful gazes, those didn't cause any great waves in Long Chen. But being praised by Men Qi, pride involuntarily swelled within him. However, he still shook his head. Yin Luo's strength has reached an abnormal level. Back when we first entered the secret realm, he ended up immediately targeting me, and I almost died to him. Long Chen told them about what had happened with Yin Luo at the beginning. His expression was extremely solemn. At that time, Yin Luo's control of natural energy was still coarse. But looking at this person's wounds, it seems Yin Luo has already gained a measure of control over his Xi'anchen power, and so he must be even more terrifying. The most abnormal part about Yun Luo was that he had refined Xi'anchen essence blood, and was able to control a measure of natural energy, something only Xi'anchen experts should have been able to do. But Yun Luo was able to do so in tendon transformation. Although it was just a small amount, it was enough to allow him to dominate anyone on the same realm. It was unknown just what techniques Han Xi'an Ayu had for him to stand on the same level as Yun Luo. But Han Xi'an Ayu's trump cards were definitely not inferior to Yun Luo's. Long Chen, how sure are you of being able to defa during Yun Luo asked Men Qi. Long Chen hesitated. Conservatively, it should be around 50%. But my chance of killing him is probably zero. So I'll need your help. You want to kill him. The three women were all stunned. Long Chen was crazy. He wanted to kill a top expert? This is probably my only chance to kill Yun Luo. Back when Yun Luo chased after me. His cultivation base had already reached the ninth heaven stage of tendon transformation. Now that over two months have passed, he should have reached the peak of tendon transformation, and perhaps he has already begun to touch that barrier. So killing him now is my only chance. If he advances to bone forging, there'll be no chance at all. With the assistance of his medicinal pills, Long Chen's cultivation base had just recently reached the second heaven stage of tendon transformation. Trying to catch up to Yun Luo in terms of cultivation base was just folly. So Long Chen placed great importance on this opportunity. The enmity between the two had reached the point that they would fight a battle to the death the instant they saw each other. This was the most opportune moment for Long Chen. The three women nodded when they saw Long Chen was so confident, and so they didn't try to dissuade him any further. I don't need the three of you to directly fight. It's best if you conceal yourselves at first and just prepare to stop him from running. If we end up in a draw or I'm not able to defeat Ring him, just give up on the plan and run. I have my own methods to escape him, so you don't need to worry about me, warned Long Chen. Although the three of them were extremely powerful, especially Men Qi and Chu Yao, Long Chen didn't dare place them in such danger. The person they were targeting was the number one expert of the corrupt path. If even one of them ended up in an accident, then even 10,000 deaths wouldn't be able to wash away his guilt. Little Snow will lead the way. On the way, Men Qi, show me your best attacks and your fighting style. Long Chen summoned out Little Snow. With his nose, it was easy to trace where that fellow had come from. After burying that person, the four of them began to follow Little Snow even deeper into the forest of darkness. With Little Snow leading the way, Men Qi began to explain her various spiritual attacks. At the same time, she imparted several principles and usages of spiritual attacks. Long Chen was astonished by how complicated the spiritual attacks Men Qi told him were. Compared to the ones Lu Fang'er had taught him, it was much more taxing to use these. Even with Long Chen's incredibly vast soul energy, some of those soul arts would require his full strength to use. Long Chen finally understood why Lu Fang'er had been unable to come into contact with these soul arts. That was because her spiritual strength was too lacking to use these powerful techniques. From Men Qi's explanations, Long Chen couldn't help sighing that soul arts were really too powerful. The amount of knowledge and theories contained within them were as vast as an ocean. As they traveled atop Little Snow, 
Mengqi became Long Chen's secret teacher Novalun.com Long Chen himself was an alchemist, and he possessed his pill god memories. His ability to control his spiritual strength had definitely reached a masterful level. Although the methods to circulate soul energy was different between soul arts and pill refining, the countless differences didn't change the fact that they were from the same origin. The principles were similar, and Long Chen comprehended them extremely quickly. As a result, Men Qi reacted in the same way as Lu Fang Er did and ended up completely stunned by Long Chen's terrifying talent. No matter what soul art it was, Long Chen would essentially be able to comprehend the whole thing as soon as she explained it once. Then he would ask her some questions about some specifics, and the questions he brought up were always the areas that were easiest to end up making slip ups. After those few questions, he would have a fundamental understanding on how to use it. It wasn't just Long Chen who was benefiting from Men Qi's knowledge. Chu Yao was also learning many things, as her soul energy was also extremely powerful. She used her powerful soul energy to control her wood energy. These transformations and methods to use soul energy showed her many new ways to control her wooden stakes. Slow down. Long Chen suddenly waved his hand. Little Snow had sent back news that there were traces of battle ahead. That should be the direction that injured person had come from. The four of them began to carefully advance. In just a couple hundred meters. They saw Little Snow. Not far from Little Snow were two corpses, and the ground was a complete mess. Although the two of them had died, their powerful auras had yet to completely fade, and it was possible to tell these two had also reached the chosen level. Looks like it was here. There's a basin up ahead with mountains on all sides, and there's only one entrance. Then let's act according to the plan. You three guard the entrance here, and I'll go on ahead. Be careful. The three of them warned him at the same time. Long Chen smiled slightly and nodded. He carefully ventured ahead. Chapter 375 A Decisive Battle to the Death Translator Born to be in front of Long Chen was a huge basin. It was 30 miles in diameter. Although he called it a basin, it could also be described as a well. The cliffs surrounding it were all extremely steep, looking like they had been cut open with a blade. The mountains were miles high. These mountains surrounded it on all sides. If you were to look from above, it would look just like a circular well. There was only a narrow passage that led into the basin. This passageway had been turned into a complete mess. The ground was crumbling and waves of earth had piled up. Furthermore, these marks were clearly fresh, proving an intense fight had occurred here not long ago. Long Chen had told the three women to act in accordance to their plan and guard the entranceway. If someone were to run out from inside, it would be difficult for them to notice the ambush outside. The passageway was less than a dozen meters wide at any time, and it went on for a dozen miles. Long Chen carefully walked through it until he reached the basin. There, he was amazed to see that the basin was filled with lush trees soaring to the heavens. It was completely different from the environment outside. Bang! Suddenly, a muffled sound came from the distance, and Long Chen stealthily took out Devil Decapitator, raising his concentration to its limit as he crept over in the direction of that sound. After traveling several miles, Long Chen suddenly saw a certain figure, a very familiar figure. It was Yun Luo. At this time, Yun Luo was crazily brandishing his spear. In front of him were densely packed, fist-sized, golden insects. His spear smashed into one of the golden insects, and shockingly, a metallic sound rang out. Long Chen was surprised to see that despite Yun Luo's strength being great enough to smash apart mountains, his spear was only able to send some of those insects flying away with each strike. He wasn't able to smash them to death. Metal devouring insects. Long Chen was shocked. Those fist-sized insects with translucent wings and a golden shell were called metal devouring insects. They were an extremely unique kind of magical beast. When they were fully mature, they would still be only the size of a fist. They didn't have a crystal core, but they had been classified as third-rank magical beasts. That was because a single matured metal devouring insect could kill a third rank magical beast. The most terrifying thing about them was their teeth. They relied on eating metallic ores to live. Not only were their bodies hard as metal, but they were also extremely tough. Utter force attacks were mostly unable to kill them. The most terrifying thing was that metal devouring insects were magical beasts that lived in groups. It was common for hundreds or even thousands of them to gather together and dominate a vein of ore only when that vein was exhausted would they move on together to find another vein. Long Chen was a bit curious about why Yun Luo would fight with these metal devouring insects. He looked into the distance. When he saw a certain sapling growing in front of a cave, his heart began to pound frantically, and he almost cried out, Killin' fruit. 
Long Chen shouted inside. He had searched for the Killin fruit for so long, and now he managed to find it in the secret realm. If he could obtain the Killin fruit, he'd be able to refine the Aliyah pill, and thus condense the Aliyah star. Long Chen took a deep breath and suppressed his intense emotions. He carefully examined the situation. This Killin fruit tree was three feet tall, and there were over ten oddly shaped fruits growing on it. Those fruits all had scale-like patterns on them. The fruits were the size of a longan. Long Chen could clearly see that several of the Killin fruit scales had already turned golden, meaning they had ripened and could immediately be used to refine the Aliyah pill. Long Chen wished he could instantly charge over and snatch the tree, but he suppressed that desire. The Killin fruit tree was on top of a cave. Countless metal-devouring insects were furiously flying out from there, attacking Yun Luo. Long Chen instantly understood that Yun Luo had come for the Killin fruit tree, but that tree was in the metal-devouring insects' territory. They wouldn't let Yun Luo approach, and so they were crazily attacking him. Yun Luo was too afraid of damaging the Killin fruit tree, and so he didn't dare release his full-strength attacks. He could only use his spear to continuously strike those insects, although they wouldn't die from being struck by his spear. Once they were knocked into the hard cliff behind them, they usually lost consciousness. There were already hundreds of metal-devouring insects that were unconscious in front of the cliff. Long Chen immediately understood what he was planning. Yin Luo was truly patient. He was actually using this extremely clumsy method to get rid of them. As time passed, fewer metal-devouring insects flew out of the cave. Two hours later, they had all been knocked unconscious. Yin Luo finally sighed. These metal-devouring insects were very powerful, and being bitten by one would be extremely painful, even for him. To have to constantly focus and strike each metal-devouring insect one by one hard enough that they passed out had been extremely tiring after all this time. Even Yun Luo felt exhausted after doing this for hours. But when he looked at the Killin fruit tree, he felt as if it had all been worth it. The Killin fruit was also known as the Killin sacred fruit. A matured Killin fruit could be used to refine the Killin luck pill that was able to increase the quality of a person's spirit root. That was something that had already disappeared from the outside world. There were only some recordings of it in some ancient texts. Originally, Yin Luo had seen three chosen enter this basin from a distance. Seeing three chosen together had piqued his curiosity, and he had followed from behind. From their words, he had learned that one of them had found a priceless treasure and had invited the other two to help him obtain it, but one of them had used some unknown method to detect that there was someone following them, and he had turned to attack. However, when they saw that it was Yun Luo, the three of them had instantly fled. Yun Luo hadn't cared to chase them down, but then when he saw that the treasure was the Killin fruit tree, he had changed plans and charged after the three of them. Unfortunately, he hadn't expected that one of them would be able to escape from him through the aid of some secret technique. As a result, while halfway to his death, he had ended up drawing over Long Chen. Yin Luo walked up to the tree. It was surprisingly growing out from a rock that looked like a flower pot. That took quite the effort. Yin Luo smiled slightly. He was filled with excitement and was just about to gather the Killin fruit tree when a voice rang out from behind him. It took quite the effort from me too. Yun Luo hastily turned around. Pow. A large hand slapped across his face. Yun Luo flew back. After knocking Yun Luo back with a slap, Long Chen couldn't help celebrating. His divine face slapping technique was truly unrevealed beneath the heavens. He had actually ended up succeeding. It had to be known that an expert like Yun Luo would be able to sense the slightest killing intent or murderous intention. The only technique Long Chen could have used in this case was his face slap and he had ended up succeeding. Without saying anything else, he directly absorbed the Killin fruit tree along with the rock it was growing out of into his life ring. Long Chen thanked his luck that he didn't keep his life ring with his other spatial rings on his finger. Normally he would keep a few spatial rings on his finger so it was convenient for taking out and putting in things. But spatial rings were not so stable, and if they broke, the items inside them would be lost in the chaotic flow of space, forever disappearing. Long Chen Yin Luo hastily stabilized himself after being slapped flying. Turning back, his fury erupted. He had turned back just in time to see Long Chen gather the Killin fruit tree. That made Yin Luo feel like his eye sockets would tear apart. And he was so furious his hair stood on end. His eyes looking like they might spit flames at any moment. He had worked bitterly for hours. But at the final critical moment, his treasure had been stolen by someone else. Yin Luo felt like he might explode. Hey, don't be so petty. I didn't even bring up how you chased me down last time. This little sapling can just count as your apology to me. 
said Long Chen magnanimously. Hand over the tree. Yin Luo roared furiously. His aura completely exploded out, his long hair beginning to dance in the air, looking like some kind of devil god. His terrifying pressure instantly destroyed the trees around him. Yin Luo truly was infuriated. That Killin fruit tree was a priceless treasure. Treasures that could upgrade the quality of a person's spirit root were practically heaven defying. His spear smashed towards Long Chen. The power behind that spear caused heaven and earth to change color. His aura exploded into its peak, making Yun Luo even more terrifying. In the face of Yun Luo's seemingly heaven encompassing spear, Long Chen put away his smile. Devil Decapitator began to release golden light into the sky, and waves of energy began to soar out. He slashed out. Boom. The ground exploded and huge boulders blew away. The forest had been turned into a plain for miles. A terrifying wave of ki surged out. You aren't embarrassed to get angry? The one who should be angry is me. Last time when you chased me down, you almost got me killed in the end. This time it'll be my turn. Thinking back to how miserably he had fled back then, and how he had almost ended up dying to Jang Yifan because of him, Long Chen's fury erupted. Devil Decapitator cut across the void, slashing at Yun Luo like a bolt of lightning. Boom. Yin Luo's spear blocked Long Chen, and a sinister smile appeared on his face. Then let's completely settle our debts this time. Today we'll have a battle to the death. He smashed his spear at Long Chen. Long Chen ducked to dodge Yin Luo's spear. Devil Decapitator followed along the side of a spear to cut at Yin Luo's fingers. Yin Luo could only first take a step back, creating some distance between them. Then let's have a decisive fight to the death. Last time you took advantage of my realm being too low. Now that I'm no longer restrained by being a major realm below you, I'll break that myth of you being unrevealed within the same realm. Long Chen raised Devil Decapitator to rest on his shoulder. HMPH. What arrogant boasting. I, Yin Luo, have killed countless people in my lifetime. My reputation is something created through my actual skills. Do you think I'm like you idiots from the righteous path? Raising people like greenhouse flowers? What an enormous joke. Today you'll definitely die. However, the scenery here is pretty nice, so it's not a bad burial ground. I guess you're pretty lucky. Yin Luo raised his spear, his aura constantly rising. Space began to buzz, as a powerful aura shot out. As Long Chen had expected, Yin Luo had truly reached the peak of tendon transformation. He was just a single step from reaching the bone forging realm. Long Chen sighed sorrowfully inside, as he had thought. Not all geniuses were created from just boasting. That was especially true of those experts from the corrupt path. They were all experts who had managed to charge through endless cruelty and slaughter. Whether it was their cultivation talent or their combat abilities, they could not be compared to. Long Chen took a deep breath. His Feng Fu star began to slowly circulate, and a vast, almost ocean-like spiritual key poured into his body. His robes fluttered and his long hair danced. Long Chen pointed Devil Decapitator at Yun Luo. Come. Let's have a decisive battle to the death. Chapter 376 Once more fighting Yun Luo translator. Born to become. Let's have a decisive battle to the death. Long Chen's roar shook the nine heavens. His divine ring once more appeared behind him, and endless light pierced through the clouds. Boundless key waves continuously battered the blue dome of the sky. A terrifying aura erupted out, one that could destroy the world and cause gods and devils to quiver. Feng Fu battle armor. Boom. The ground collapsed. The mountain was shaking. A star appeared in Long Chen's eyes, and he now seemed like a devil god that was causing heaven and earth to constantly rumble. Men Qi and the others who were guarding the exit were all horrified. Even from hundreds of miles away, even though they were separated by huge mountains, that terrifying pressure still caused their hearts to tremble. If Chu Yao wasn't absolutely sure that this was Long Chen's aura, then Men Qi and Lu Fanger would have refused to believe it. Although Lu Fanger had seen Long Chen attack, it had seemed like he was just defeating children, and he hadn't used his full strength. But now the current Long Chen seemed like a divinity of the world. That kind of aura caused the world to tremble and all living things to lower their heads. Long Chen and Yun Luo had already fought each other twice, and Long Chen was well aware of Yun Luo's strength. He no longer needed to use any probing blows against him. He immediately erupted with his full strength. For a terrifying opponent like Yun Luo, who possessed extremely rich battle experience, it would be useless for Long Chen to try any tricky moves or other things he had gained through his battle experience. Unlike when he fought against Yun Wushuang, if he wanted to fight Yun Luo, the only way was to use true power. Long Chen roared, his voice like spring thunder shaking the heavens. 
He raised Devil Decapitator into the air, and a terrifying Saber key split open the void, slashing down on Yun Luo who was a dozen meters away. Kill. HMPH. Then let me see just how many of my blows you can receive now that you've advanced to Tendon Transformation. Netherworld Possession. A huge illusory phantom appeared behind Yun Luo. It was the same figure that had appeared back in the Righteous and Corrupt Battle. 1. However, this time, that illusory phantom was even larger, and even more solid. It looked just like a devil god, emitting a fiendish aura. When Yun Luo merged with that phantom, a terrifying wave of ki soared into the sky. He snorted and smashed his spirit Long Chen's attacking saber. Boom. An earth-shaking collision. It was like the collision of two meteors. The land shook, and the closest cliff to them directly collapsed. Over half of that huge cliff, which was miles high, fell to the ground. Countless boulders falling. However, neither Long Chen nor Yun Luo cared. They both roared, and crazily attacked each other. Boom. 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 Each time their weapons collided, it caused a terrifying explosion. Those huge boulders that had just fallen were now crushed to smithereens. The two of them were both top experts, and under their full strength attacks, the ground was continuously crumbling, and the surrounding mountains began to cave in. It was like the end of the world. Boom. With the final collision, one of the cliffs was unable to bear the powerful impact, and the majority of it collapsed. Furthermore, many huge boulders fell off it and began to smash towards the two of them like meteorites. Bang. The two of them were struck by a huge boulder, but after a moment, that huge boulder suddenly exploded. Countless rock fragments flew away from their bodies. That spear and saber were still crazily fighting. Continuous explosions rang out. Dust soared into the air, eventually soaring out of the basin in a thick pillar into the sky. Even people thousands of miles away could see it. The ground was constantly shuddering, and space was rumbling. The two of them fought for two hours without their auras declining in the slightest. In fact, their auras only grew stronger over time, becoming more and more majestic. Boom. With another earth-shaking collision, both of them were knocked back dozens of meters. Long Chen's heart was pounding wildly. Yin Luo was too terrifying. If he hadn't advanced to tendon transformation and increased his stores of spiritual ki by tens of times, he would have long since become exhausted. But even so, he could still sense that his spiritual ki was beginning to run out. He couldn't continue like this. He was truly shocked. But Yun Luo was even more shocked. His netherworld possession was a secret technique from ancient times. It allowed his combat ability to soar to a shocking level. But it was also equally exhausting. Having fought intensely for two hours, he had been unable to suppress Long Chen in the slightest. That profoundly shocked him. Up until now, Yun Luo had fought with who knew how many experts. Even bone-forging elders were unable to fight against him anymore. But Long Chen was able to. Furthermore, his realm was even lower than his. Although it could be considered the same realm, he was at the peak of Tendon Transformation. While Long Chen was at the early Tendon Transformation realm, the difference between them was still extremely large. That caused Yun Luo to feel a sense of defeaturing for the first time. At the same time, his killing intent grew even denser. He definitely couldn't leave Long Chen alive. His spear shook, and a strange energy soared out. A formless aura caused heaven and earth to quiver and the energy of heaven and earth began to gather around him. HMPH, you're finally activating your Xi'anchen power? Yin Luo, you really have become depraved, sneered Long Chen. Nonsense, this Xi'anchen power is a part of my power, it's not depraved. Whether or not it's a part of your own power is something you know best. Do you really need to try and deceive yourself? Long Chen made his preparations, all his energy was circulating. Yin Luo's expression turned chilly. Long Chen was insulting him. This Xi'anchen power was fundamentally not his, but something his sect had bestowed upon him. For him, his sect had sacrificed a Xi'anchen expert, sealing that expert's Xi'anchen essence blood into his body. He was to refine it, and it would become a powerful assistance as he grew stronger. It truly couldn't be counted as his power. However, Yin Luo still sneered. Resources are also a kind of power, so stop spouting so much nonsense. Today. I'll definitely take your life. His spear surged forward. Endless energy from hundreds of miles around began to surge towards Yun Luo. A terrifying aura locked Long Chen in place. This wasn't his first time encountering the Xi'anchen power of being able to control natural energy. However, this time, Yun Luo's control over the natural energy was clearly much more refined. That meant another portion of his Xi'anchen essence blood had been refined. 
His control over natural energy was only growing greater over time. Taking a deep breath, Long Chen circulated his Feng Fu star to its max, and energy surged through nine acupuncture points before entering Devil Decapitator. Countless lines lit up along Devil Decapitator. Although a large portion of the blade was covered in notches, it still didn't affect its fierce aura. As Long Chen poured in more and more spiritual qi, it was like a stream became a rushing ocean. His nine acupuncture points were pushed to their peak. This was the first time Long Chen was using Split the Heavens since advancing to Tendon Transformation. Terrifying Saber Qi was cycling around Devil Decapitator, emitting a blinding light. Die. Just at this moment, Yin Luo finished condensing all his natural energy and shouted. His spear pierced through space, stabbing at Long Chen. Long Chen had also finished storing energy. Devil Decapitator was letting out a constant rumble in the air. It appeared like a berserk magical beast thirsting for battle. Split the heavens. Boom. The spear tip collided with the saber light. For dozens of miles, the ground intensely shuddered. Terrifying astral wind unfurled, and mountains collapsed. Both Long Chen and Yun Luo were sent flying by the other person's force. At the same time, the two of them vomited a mouthful of blood. Before either could react, they were smashed by the boulders falling from the collapsing mountains. Rocks exploded as Yun Luo jumped out of the boulders. His robes were badly damaged and his hair was a complete mess. His spear-wielding hand was drenched in blood, appearing extremely miserable. After jumping out from the boulders, Yin Luo didn't see Long Chen's figure. He suddenly felt a chill in his heart, and threw himself to the side. Boom! A huge, violet lightning ball exploded beside Yin Luo's body. That terrifying energy created a huge ditch in the ground, a ditch that was so deep that the bottom couldn't even be seen. Although Yin Luo had made the right choice to dodge, he still hadn't been fast enough. The terrifying wave of energy struck him, causing him to vomit more blood. Before their final collision, Long Chen had already made his plan. Yin Luo was too powerful. The two of their strengths were not much different, so it would be difficult for either one of them to defeat during other. To kill their opponent was just a fantasy. But now after using an absolute full power attack, both of their strengths had sharply declined. It wasn't possible to kill the other through absolute strength like this but it was possible depending on what strategy you chose. After that huge attack, Long Chen had hidden himself below the boulders and summoned the thunder force in his body. After constant compression, he had let out his deadly attack. Unfortunately, Yin Luo was a veteran of hundreds of battles. The instant Long Chen had released his attack, Yin Luo had sensed it and dodged it. He was only struck by the aftershock. But even so, Yin Luo vomited three large mouthfuls of blood. After all, Long Chen's thunder force wasn't from ordinary lightning, but from tribulation lightning. It contained a boundless destructive will. The destructive ability of this lightning was far too shocking. Even though Yun Luo had dodged and raised his guard, he was still heavily injured by the aftershock. His whole body became numb. Sheet. Suddenly, a golden page silently slashed out at Yun Luo's neck. Yun Luo felt his hair stand on end and threw himself to the side. The golden page slashed through Yun Luo's neck. Unfortunately, it had strayed from the intended target, and only cut through a portion of his neck. It hadn't completely decapitated him. Long Chen couldn't help crying that it was a pity. He hastily rushed out of the rubble. Devil Decapitator slashed out at Yun Luo's neck, trying to make up for the previous attack. Yun Luo was repeatedly heavily injured. That last attack had been exceptionally heavy, and he had almost lost his head. But although his face was pale, there was not the slightest panic in his eyes. One hand kept the injury to his neck closed, while the other hand wielded his spear to block Long Chen's saber. After their previous full power attack, their strengths had greatly declined. This time, they were both blown back a dozen steps by the other. Their arms felt a bit sore, a sign they had slightly overdrafted themselves. Yin Luo was heavily injured, his neck almost severed. After being blown back by Long Chen, he didn't even think before rushing out of the basin. He had to run. Although a cut on the throat wasn't fatal to cultivators, it would still heavily impact their fighting strength. Previously, the two of them had been evenly matched, but now that he had been injured, he had fallen behind. The situation wasn't favorable to him, so he had to run. Where do you think you're going? Long Chen chased after him. With the two of them rushing, they instantly reached that narrow passageway. Yin Luo was infuriated. This was his second time being forced to flee because of Long Chen. That was an absolute humiliation to him, but even in his fury, he knew that if he stayed behind and continued to fight, the one to die would very likely be him. 
Seeing the exit ahead, he hastily swallowed a healing pill and increased his speed. At the same time, his spear slammed into the stone walls, and the passageway began to collapse behind him. He created this block in order to slow down Long Chen. Long Chen had no choice but to use Devil Decapitator to destroy these rocks before continuing. But seeing that Yun Luo was about to reach the exit, Long Chen icily smiled. A huge wind blade slashed at Yun Luo from the front. Chapter 377 Chasing After Him Translator Born to be Boom A wind blade silently appeared, causing Yun Luo to jump in fright. But that wind blade wasn't aiming at him. It ended up striking the ground in front of him, filling the air with dust. Yun Luo's heart shook. There was an ambush waiting for him, behind him. Long Chen was quickly catching up. Yun Luo could only force his way through from the front. Piercing through from the front would at least give him some chance of surviving. But if he decided to turn back and face Long Chen in his condition, his only possible fate would be to die. He quickly rushed forward. He recognized that attack as the one Long Chen's magical beast had used before. Although that magical beast's attack power was terrifying, if he was prepared, it was unable to threaten to him. He had only just taken a couple of steps when the blazing flame swallowed him, and a terrifying heat immediately scorched the land. This entire time, Men Qi, Chu Yao, and Lu Fanger had been guarding the exit. From Long Chen's shout, they saw Yun Luo really had been defeated by Long Chen and had begun to flee. They immediately acted according to the plan and Little Snow had attacked. However, Long Chen didn't want Little Snow attack to directly hit Yun Luo, but to block his line of sight. Little Snow's attack had filled the air with dust. Following him, Lu Fanger's recently gained Scarlet Blaze Lion sent out the true attack, letting out a ball of flames that suddenly attacked Yun Luo out of nowhere. The Scarlet Blaze Lion's flame was incredibly powerful. An ordinary chosen would be unable to block it. Most frightening of all, the area of its attack was huge, so it was almost impossible to dodge. Endless sinking wood. Suddenly, a clear shout rang out. Yun Luo was horrified to see the ground beneath his feet sink, and he was quickly subsiding. He hastily used his key to protect his body, and he jumped out of this trap. But he had only just flown out when countless wooden stakes instantly bound him tightly. Yun Luo's heart turned cold. He struggled, but he found these golden wooden stakes were harder than steel, and he wasn't able to break them like this. Break. Yun Luo roared furiously, and he once more activated his Xi'anshan power. With natural energy backing his attack, these wooden stakes were instantly disintegrated. After escaping the wooden bindings, Yun Luo had just been about to continue fleeing when he saw even more wooden stakes. Those all-encompassing wooden stakes surged over to him. Fuck off. Yun Luo brandished his spear, and he activated his Xi'anshan power again. Those wooden stakes were all broken. In front of natural energy, all other attacks appeared much weaker. After destroying hundreds of wooden stakes, Yun Luo realized that two wooden stakes had stealthily wrapped around his feet. By the time he could let out another attack to destroy them, Long Chen would have already reached him. Yun Luo was completely furious and shocked. He hadn't even been able to get a look at who exactly was attacking him. He hastily took out a precious teleportation talisman. At this point, he had no choice but to use it. Soul Absorption Art Following a cold shout, Yun Luo suddenly felt an intense pain in his soul, and he was horrified to find that his left hand refused to listen to his orders, and he was unable to activate the teleportation talisman Novaloon.com at this point. Long Chen arrived, and his saber slashed down. The arm holding the teleportation talisman left the rest of Yun Luo's body. The pain of losing an arm made Yun Luo crazy. His spear smashed at Long Chen with all his power, and Long Chen hastily blocked. Boom. This attack had been backed by his Xi'anshan power. He had sent Long Chen flying, as well as broken the wooden stakes coiling around his feet. Bastards. All of you can die. Yun Luo roared furiously. A spear image hundreds of meters long extended from his spear, smashing down on Men Qi and the others. Two howls rang out at the same time and a wind blade and a flame sphere collided into that spear image. But that spear image only shook ever so slightly before smashing apart those attacks and continuing down on them. Although Yun Luo was unable to see Men Qi and the others, he could use his sharp intuition to sense their location. Thus, he had let out a full power attack. Storm Slash, Men Qi and the others had just been about to block when a saber image smashed into Yun Luo's spear image. Both images exploded. A terrifying astral wind shot out and the three women were blown back. Even Little Snow and the Scarlet Blaze Lion were sent miserably tumbling back. When the three women stabilized their positions, they couldn't help being horrified. 
How could this Yun Luo be so terrifying? His aura was clearly much weaker than when he had first started this fight, but his attacks were still terrifying to the extreme. If Long Chen hadn't blocked it in the end, then Chu Yao's wooden shield would definitely have been unable to block it. After shattering Yun Luo's spear image, Long Chen also reached the point where he was gasping for breath, and he had clearly overdrafted his strength. But he also knew that this was the crucial moment. He took a deep breath and once more charged forward at Yun Luo like some berserk cheetah. Having lost an arm, Yun Luo had to do everything he could to block Long Chen's tempest of attacks. However, he was still repeatedly forced back. As he fell back, the ground was constantly crumbling. Although the two of them had already reached the point of exhaustion, each one of their attacks were still incredibly powerful. Let's go help Long Chen, said Men Qi. Seeing Long Chen risking his life to fight, she was just about to rush out to help. Don't sister, if you go out, it'll make Long Chen mad. Chu Yao held Men Qi back. Neither Men Qi nor Lu Fang are understood, so Chu Yao continued. Long Chen's extremely stubborn. He wouldn't want anyone to change his plans. Have you forgotten? He's already said that we're only in charge of blocking Yun Luo once. After that, we have to distance ourselves from the battle. No matter what the result is, we're not to interfere. In the beginning, Long Chen had already estimated Yun Luo's strength. To kill Yun Luo would be as difficult as ascending to the heavens. It would be a bitter clash of power that didn't rely on technique or skill. But even if he could force Yun Luo into a disadvantage, killing him would still be incomparably difficult. That was true even if he could force Yun Luo to the brink of despair. With how powerful Yun Luo was, it was unknown how many people he would be able to bring with him in his death. Other than Long Chen, no one else here would be able to block Yun Luo's final death blow. That was why when Long Chen had come up with the plan, he had harshly warned them that they were only in charge of one block to slow him down. No matter what the result was, they were to then hide in the distance and not interfere. This fellow is far too overbearing, sighed Men Qi. But there wasn't the slightest reproach in her eyes. The three of them knew they were all soul cultivators who weren't suited to close-range combat. That was true even for Chu Yao, who used her soul energy to control her wooden stakes. Long Chen was only doing this in consideration of their safety. Look, Yin Luo started to run again. They noticed that after fighting for a bit, Yin Luo had finally recovered his senses and no longer faced Long Chen directly. He was already running, and Long Chen was chasing. We should also go over. Wait, we should collect the arm first. That's Long Chen's spoils of battle. Lu Fang er ran over to the arm Long Chen had severed. That arm was still holding a precious teleportation talisman. That was a life-saving treasure, and they definitely couldn't waste it. It had to be known that the majority of Chosen did not have the qualifications to possess such teleportation talismans. Those kinds of items were just too precious, and only absolutely top experts were given such treatment. After putting away that arm, Men Qi and Chu Yao jumped onto Little Snow, while Lu Fang Er jumped on her Scarlet Blaze Lion. Yun Luo and Long Chen were incredibly fast. Long Chen was using the Netherworld Ghost Steps, but he was unable to close the distance between the two of them. Long Chen knew this was an incredibly hard to come by chance. If he missed this opportunity, it wouldn't come again. Furthermore, Yun Luo had already reached the peak of tendon transformation. Once he stepped over that next barrier and was in bone forging, the person to flee so miserably would definitely be Long Chen. One person running, and one person chasing. The two of them pierced through the dense forest. A desert area appeared in front of them, and with their speed, the sky was filled with sand, looking like a dust dragon. They traveled dozens of miles in an instant. This was the core region of the Forest of Darkness, and the terrain was extremely complicated along with countless magical beasts. All the explorers who had reached here traveled extremely cautiously, but then when they saw these two figures speeding along with their full strength, shooting past them like lightning, they were all dumbfounded. Wasn't rushing madly like that in the core region of the Forest of Darkness just courting death? What terrifying speed! Who would be so brazen to recklessly rush around here? Hey, it's not one person, but two. Some sharp-eyed people saw that within the sky full of dust, there was one figure who was constantly chasing the other. But due to being hidden in the dust, it was difficult to notice him. Heavens, if I haven't seen wrongly, then isn't that person running at the front the corrupt path's number one expert? Yin Luo Yin Luo's name was something practically everyone in both the righteous and corrupt paths was aware of. Although few people had seen Yin Luo before, his name was not foreign to them. Before entering the secret realm, 
All the various large sects had prepared information on the top chosen so their disciples would know who they absolutely could not provoke. So when they saw that person fleeing at the front, they were all filled with disbelief. The corrupt path's top expert was actually being chased down by someone else. Heavens, Yin Luo is injured. He's lost an arm. Someone let out a startled cry. This discovery made them incomparably stunned. Then as the person chasing him Han Shian Ayu, muttered some people. It seemed that other than Han Shian Ayu, there wasn't anyone else capable of this. Stand still Yin Luo. If you leave me another leg this time, I swear I won't kill you. Having to chase behind Yin Luo, Long Chen was constantly getting dust blown in his face, infuriating him. He was unable to catch up to him no matter what. So he now shouted out a loud taunt. Although Long Chen had to swallow a mouthful of dust for this, the distant spectators had it much worse than him. A huge uproar exploded. They had all recognized that voice. It's Long Chen. Everyone's jaws hit the ground. Most of them had already seen the video of Long Chen's fight with Yun Wushuang. So they immediately recognized Long Chen's voice. Just what kind of monster is Long Chen? After just defeating Yun Wushuang, he went to chase down the corrupt path's number one expert? Is he trying to defy the heavens? The distant spectators felt they were about to go insane. The world around them seemed to have gone insane. Yin Luo's expression was dark, and he was feeling endless humiliation. But he didn't look back because of his anger. Rather than risking his life to fight Long Chen, he continued fleeing. Seeing Yin Luo was ignoring him and still running, Long Chen was thinking of taunting him several times to see if he could provoke him. But Long Chen had also reached his limit. Each time he opened his mouth, it would consume his little remaining energy. So he kept his mouth shut and continued chasing. The two of them were incredibly quick, and they passed through the desert in just a short time. Forest reappeared in front of them. Suddenly, when Long Chen entered the forest, several figures flew over and attacked him. Chapter 378 Dividing the Spoils Translator Born to be die. A total of four people had appeared, and they had surprisingly all reached the chosen level. The four of their combined strengths caused the void to tremble. Fuck off. Long Chen swung out Devil Decapitator onto their weapons, instantly disintegrating them. Blood splashed as they flew back. Long Chen glanced from the corner of his eye and realized the four people who had blocked him were all experts from the corrupt path. He had no time to settle his debts with them, and he continued chasing after Yun Luo. Too terrifying. Four chosen were unable to receive a single blow. The distant spectators were all dumbfounded. Those four people had only just miserably crawled up from the ground when two angry roars rang out, and one wind blade and one flame sphere attacked the four of them. The wind blade and flame sphere exploded in their midst. With the revolving wind blade and the blazing flames, those four chosen were all instantly killed before even getting a chance to react. Menki and the others were all startled. They hadn't imagined that Little Snow and the Scarlet Blaze Lion were so suited to cooperating. The flame borrowed the power of the wind to explosively increase its attacking power by multiple times, allowing them to instantly kill four chosen. After killing four chosen in a flash, Lu Fanger actually shot over and used her powerful spiritual strength to find three spatial rings. There was also one that was perhaps destroyed or had shot out into the distance. In any case, Lu Fanger had no time to search, and she jumped back on her Scarlet Blaze Lion to continue chasing. After this time, Long Chen and Yun Luo's figures had already disappeared into the distance. However, Little Snow had been with Long Chen for so long that he was easily able to follow with his perceptive senses. They crazily rushed around for six full hours. Finally, Long Chen appeared in front of them. He was currently dejectedly sitting on top of a rock, gasping for breath. The land around Long Chen was a complete mess. Not far were two corrupt disciples' corpses. They were too powerful chosen. The three of them hastily rushed over with great concern. What happened? Long Chen shook his head bitterly. I ended up losing his tail. Just thinking of what had happened infuriated him. The plan had been going great at the beginning. But in the end, all the efforts had been wasted. These two chosen that had appeared in the end were incredibly powerful. And they had stalled Long Chen for too long. Furthermore, Long Chen had already been exhausted. After killing these two, he had had no more energy to chase Yun Luo. Back when he had been chased down by Yun Luo, who knew how many spectators had just been watching from the sidelines, not one of them had helped him. And not only had they not helped him, they had even taken advantage of him being incredibly injured to try and kill him. If it hadn't been for that mysterious woman, he would have already died. But somehow Yun Luo had drawn over so many people to help. Those people had clearly known they would die. 
but they still had dared to come out and fight despite that. Sometimes Long Chen would become bewildered. Just which path was the true righteous path? Seeing Long Chen's depressed expression, the three women had no idea what to say. They had an urge to laugh and cry. Just who was Yun Luo? He was the corrupt path's top chosen. A once in a thousand year genius. How could he possibly be so easy to kill? The fact that Long Chen was able to send him fleeing was already enough to shock everyone. They weren't shocked Yun Luo was able to escape. Yun Luo's name was just too grand and resounding. They never dared imagine such a figure would die. It really is a pity. If you had just agreed to let us fight too, we really might have been able to kill him, said Lu Fanger with a bit of regret. Men Qi and Chu Yao nodded ever so slightly. If the three of them had fought back then, they probably would have had over an 80% chance of killing Yun Luo. Long Chen shook his head. You're looking down on Yun Luo too much. The fact that he was still able to continue running all this time means he still had at least a bit of energy kept in reserve. Although that little bit of energy isn't much, he definitely had the assurance to bring down others with him. That was the reason I didn't want you participating in the battle. Yun Luo is a veteran fighter, and he isn't afraid of death. If he really found there was no chance of him surviving, he would become crazy in his retaliation. This entire situation was something I anticipated, and to avoid his final death blow, I was hoping to compete with him in terms of endurance at the end. Here, Long Chen sighed. Unfortunately, I didn't calculate in how united the corrupt path is. The people who came to assist Yun Luo ruined my plans. Men Qi, Chu Yao, and Lu Fanger were profoundly shocked. Despite already seeing how terrifying Yun Luo was, it seemed they had still underestimated him. If Long Chen's words were said by another person's mouth, then maybe they would doubt it. But these words had come from Long Chen. Perhaps only Long Chen had the qualification to properly evaluate Yun Luo. Even Han Shai and Ayu didn't have that qualification. That was because in this world, only Long Chen had exchanged blows with Yun Luo three times. Although Long Chen didn't say some of his thoughts, the three of them knew that Long Chen would rather give up this chance to kill Yun Luo in order to make sure nothing unexpected happened to them. A top expert like Yun Luo has karmic luck supporting him. So how could he be so easy to kill? The fact you could already force him to this point is already amazing. Who else in either the righteous or corrupt path could force Yun Luo to this point? Men Qi couldn't help comforting Long Chen when she saw how despondent he seemed. Here, these are your battle spoils that I helped you collect. Lu Fanger handed over Yun Luo's arm. Looking at that arm, Long Chen couldn't help smiling bitterly. Last time I severed his leg, and this time I severed his arm. Could it be I only have fate with his body's limbs? Lu Fanger laughed. He, this is a symbol of your glory. Furthermore, there's also a priceless teleportation talisman in its hand. At a critical moment, it can save your life. Yun Luo's hand was holding a yellow, rectangular paper. Dense lines had been drawn on top of it that emitted an ancient, desolate aura. This is a teleportation talisman. Long Chen carefully grabbed the teleportation talisman and found that although it looked like wooden paper, it was actually a paper made from animal hide. He could smell the scent of beast blood coming from the lines on the page. The liquid used to draw these runes were also special. You better be careful with that. If you end up crushing it, it'll instantly disappear forever. Teased Lu Fanger. Men Qi smiled and said, It's not as exaggerated as Fanger says. If you want to crush a teleportation talisman, you have to first use your spiritual strength to activate the marks on top of it. Otherwise, you won't be able to crush it. That's also why when Yun Luo tried to crush the teleportation talisman, I was able to use a secret art to temporarily seal his spiritual strength and make it impossible for him to activate it. Previously, Long Chen had already guessed that a top expert like Yun Luo would definitely have life-saving treasures like a teleportation talisman. Men Qi had said that she had the ability to make it so he was temporarily unable to activate a teleportation talisman, which is why Long Chen had been able to set his heart on killing Yun Luo. And this was proof that Long Chen's guess had been correct. But someone as domineering as Yun Luo wouldn't prepare many teleportation talismans for themselves, as that didn't suit their haughty nature. The reason experts were called experts was because they believe more in their own strength than outer objects. So true experts usually disdained relying on life-saving measures that others tried to bestow to them. That was because doing so might cause them to feel dependent on outer strength, causing them to lose their courageous will. To chosen, too many life-saving treasures was not always a good thing. As a result, Yun Luo had only had a single teleportation talisman, so Long Chen really had bet correctly. Regretfully, 
A man's plans cannot supersede fate's plans. In the end, he had failed with victory in sight. Long Chen, you can keep this teleportation talisman. It might save your life, said Meng Qi. Long Chen had forced Yun Luo into miserable straits. Previously, he cut off his leg, and now he cut off an arm. Yun Luo's hatred for Long Chen must have sunk into his bones by now. Since Yun Luo had fled, then once he broke through to bone forging, he would definitely come looking for Long Chen. So this teleportation talisman was the most important to Long Chen. I don't need it. One of you can keep it. Since you need it more than me, Long Chen shook his head and handed over the teleportation talisman. Long Chen, don't be so stubborn. Once Yun Luo breaks through, he'll definitely come to get revenge on you. So you're the one who needs the teleportation talisman the most, advised Men Qi, sounding a bit displeased. That's right Long Chen, you have to keep this teleportation talisman. Otherwise, we'll get angry with you, said Chu Yao, also equally dissatisfied. They had all seen how terrifying Yun Luo was. Despite being in such a superior position, they still hadn't been able to kill him. Once he broke through, who knew what level his strength would explode to? Just thinking about it gave them chills. It doesn't matter if he breaks through. If it was before today, I would definitely have to run and hide from him. He, but now, I don't have to fear him, laughed Long Chen. With the killing fruit, he should at least be able to form an embryonic form of the Aleph Star. With both stars' power, which was equivalent to two Danshans, then even if he couldn't beat him, he still wouldn't need to fear Yun Luo. Sister Fang'er, of the three of you, you're the weakest. So you can keep this teleportation talisman. Long Chen pushed the teleportation talisman into Lu Fang'er's hands. Seeing the three of them were about to continue arguing, Long Chen waved his hand. I have my own life-preserving measures, so you don't need to decline. Otherwise it'll get awkward. Seeing how obstinate Long Chen was being, the three of them felt a bit helpless. Long Chen's character was just like that. Once he decided on something, only a few people could make him change his mind. Sister Fang'er, you should just take it, advised Chu Yao. Lu Fang'er shook her head. Even if Long Chen doesn't want it, I don't want it either. Junior sister, you can have it. You need it more than me. Chu Yao hastily shook her head, but Lu Fang'er pressed the teleportation talisman into her hand. I'm a beast tamer, and so I don't fight in close quarters. Furthermore, I'll be with Men Qi now. With her present, there's not very many people that can threaten me. Chu Yao still wasn't sure. She was about to hand it to Menki when Menki took the initiative to say, I already have one, so you should keep it, just keep it, this can count as big sister's gift to you. Lu Fang'er held Chu Yao's hand and laughed. Chu Yao felt extremely moved inside. A single teleportation talisman was far too expensive, but now it seemed she couldn't even give it away. She could only keep it and remember this favor in her heart. Let's go find a secluded place. I'll let you see a priceless treasure. Now that the teleportation talisman had found an owner, Long Chen smiled and brought the three of them away. He needed to find a place to refine the Aleph pill. Chapter 379 A Difficult Problem Translator Born to be seriously, Novaloon.com Long Chen's expression was incredibly ugly as he stared at the killin' fruit in his pill furnace. At this time, the killin' fruit had been turned into a paste, but he was unable to refine it into powder. Yesterday, Long Chen and the others had found a secluded cave. Long Chen had shown the killin' fruit to the three women, causing them to let out startled cries. Long Chen's luck had to be heaven-defying. He had actually managed to find something as rare as the killin' fruit. At the same time, they almost felt sorry for Yun Luo since he had lost such a priceless natural treasure. Long Chen had waited a full day before his mood gradually returned to calm from his excited state. He had finally started to refine the Aleph pill today. All the Aleph pill's other medicinal ingredients had long since been completely gathered with Elder Sun's help. They had already been turned into medicinal powders that were just waiting for the killin fruit. But when he had started to refine the killin fruit, Long Chen had become flabbergasted. The killin fruit in his pill furnace refused to have its essence extracted out. Instead of turning to powder, it melted into liquid and condensed into one entity instead of scattering. My pill flame is too weak for this. If I forcefully refine it like this, then the majority of the killin fruit's essence will be lost. That'll be a complete waste of this natural treasure. Long Chen put away his pill flame and placed the half-refined killin fruit into a jade bottle. Men Qi, Chu Yao, and Lu Fang'er were outside the cave. They had found an empty region and laid down a blanket, on top of which they had placed quite a few snacks. 
They chatted as they ate. Long Chen didn't know what they were saying, but bell-like laughter would occasionally tinkle out. Hearing that laughter, Long Chen's depression lightened a great deal. He didn't disturb them. He just silently watched. Their smiles were like blooming flowers, their voices like birdsong. Long Chen's heart was filled with tranquility as he enjoyed this feeling. This sensation was far too rare for Long Chen, and he cherished this moment. Boom. Long Chen had just been silently watching them when an explosive sound came from within his body. A powerful aura surged out and into the heavens. I've advanced. Long Chen was delighted. Now he had advanced to the third heaven stage of tendon transformation. His spiritual key had become much stronger again. And at the same time, he noticed his tendons had become even tougher. His body brimmed with power. Long Chen, you've advanced. The three women immediately noticed the distant Long Chen. Their expressions stunned. Long Chen was just leaning against the cave right now, and he hadn't made any preparations for this advancement. Such a breakthrough was far too shocking. Long Chen shot out his palm, and found that he now possessed a terrifying strength that could cause space to constantly rumble. It was as if space was unable to handle his power. Yup. Long Chen smiled slightly and walked over to them. After hesitating for a moment, he decided to sit on the grass. Hey, why aren't you coming onto the blanket? The ground's dirty said Chu Yao. Don't worry about it. My clothes are much cleaner than the ground, laughed Long Chen. We're sitting on the blanket, but you're weirdly sitting on the ground. Hurry up and get on here, smiled Men Qi. Cough. The main thing is that my feet stink, said Long Chen awkwardly. Comma the three women were all bare feet. Naturally, Long Chen wouldn't feel good about stepping on the blanket with his dirty feet. That was especially true since it had been many days since he had washed his feet. Moreover, he had already fought several intense battles, and if he were to take off his shoes, then probably he himself wouldn't be able to endure the foul stench. Speaking of feet, Menki and the others immediately reddened and hid their bare feet under their robes. That made Long Chen grumble inside that it was a shame. He hadn't even had a chance to get a good look. Wait, Long Chen, didn't you say you needed to refine pills? Why'd you come out so soon? Did you fail? Menki hastily broke the awkward atmosphere. They had all been told by Long Chen he was supposed to be refining and would only come out after a certain amount of time. That was the only reason they were amusing themselves on the blanket. I didn't necessarily fail, but I didn't succeed either. My pill flame isn't strong enough, and so I can't refine the Killin Fruit's essence. I had to stop. Long Chen shook his head. Seeing that Long Chen was a bit disheartened, the three of their hearts all sunk slightly. Although Long Chen hadn't said what pill he was refining, they could tell from his previous unconcealable excitement that it had been extremely important to him. Long Chen, Men Qi wanted to say something to comfort him, but she didn't know what to say. Long Chen laughed, I'm fine. Right now I don't have a good flame, but it'll be fine once I find one. Long Chen, sorry, I didn't know. Lu Fanger said apologetically. Only now did she realize that the Scarlet Blaze Lion's Beast Flame must have been extremely important to him. But now the Scarlet Blaze Lion had already become her husband. It was no longer just a magical beast, but a companion. She couldn't sacrifice a companion just to give Long Chen a beast flame. Sister Fang'er, you've misunderstood. The Killin Fruit is extremely special, and probably even the Scarlet Blaze Lion's beast flame is not necessarily strong enough to completely bring out its essence. In any case, we still have plenty of time. I can find a more suitable beast flame, said Long Chen. For Long Chen to put it like this allowed Lu Fang'er to feel much better, but she also didn't know what to do. In fact, in her despondent mood, she actually began to cry. Ah, don't cry Fang'er, we'll move out right now to help Long Chen find a beast flame. At the same time, you can also help me keep an eye out for some powerful housebots, consoled Men Qi. Only then did Lu Fang'er feel a bit better. That made Long Chen feel extremely embarrassed, seeing the three of them quickly tidying up. He could only set off with them. The forest of darkness is extremely vast with high mountains and dense forests. There are definitely countless powerful beasts within. We'll definitely be able to find what we need. Smiled Chu Yao. Long Chen also comforted Lu Fang'er with a few sentences before summoning out Little Snow. He and Men Qi jumped onto Little Snow's back. As for Chu Yao, she didn't say anything and merely followed Lu Fang'er onto her Scarlet Blaze Lion. But during that process... She occasionally smiled and winked at Long Chen. That action of hers caused Men Qi to blush. Lu Fang'er and Chu Yao were purposely giving Long Chen and Men Qi a chance to be alone together. 
They let the scarlet blaze lion take the lead while Little Snow followed from a distance. At first, Men Qi was clearly a bit nervous, but Long Chen purposely inquired a couple questions about soul arts, causing her to gradually relax. Long Chen, I really have to thank you for that soul nourishing pill. At that time, my soul energy had just been on the verge of a breakthrough. Your soul nourishing pill made my foundation even more stable. Even my master said my soul energy had reached a pinnacle. Men Qi was still grateful about that matter. Between the two of us, we have no need to treat each other as outsiders. I'm working hard to chase after you. So how could I not put in a bit of capital? Laughed Long Chen. Men Qi reddened even more and rebuked. You're not allowed to talk nonsense. Seeing that Men Qi wasn't accustomed to this kind of joking, Long Chen hastily changed the subject. How does your master treat you? Hearing this question, a bit of worry appeared on Men Qi's face, but she instantly concealed it. My master treats me extremely well. Practically all the Wind Spirit Pavilion's resources are at my disposal. Long Chen just looked at Men Qi. Men Qi's heart quivered. Being stared at by Long Chen, she felt as if all her secrets were laid bare in front of him. Just who was Long Chen? How could he possibly not be able to see through the change in Men Qi's expression? Even without Lu Fanger's warning, he would still have been able to sense Men Qi's mental state. However, since Men Qi refused to say it, he had no way to force her. Gently helping brush back a few strands of her hair that had been blown astray by the wind, Long Chen said, If you don't like the Wind Spirit Pavilion, just tell me. I'll welcome you at any time. Although I don't have much to offer you, I can offer you my everything. Although I'm not strong enough, I will use my life to protect you. I will not let you suffer any wrongs. Long Chen, feeling Long Chen's soft actions, hearing his warm voice, Men Qi couldn't hold back anymore and threw herself into Long Chen's embrace. Gently sobbing, fragrance filled Long Chen's nose. However, there were no wicked intentions in his heart. He only felt endless pity for Men Qi. He tightly held her to his chest. When the secret realm closes, come with me to the Zhuanshan Monastery. Although the Zhuanshan Monastery is also not a perfect place, at the very least I have many trustworthy people there, said Long Chen. After sobbing for a while in Long Chen's embrace, Men Qi finally gently withdrew and nodded. Just give me a bit of time. I need to say goodbye to my master. As a person, I have to finish what I started. After all, the Wind Spirit Pavilion has been nurturing me for so long. I can't leave without saying goodbye. Long Chen nodded. Although the current cultivation world was filled with the rank air, to just leave without saying anything was no different from betraying her sect. Long Chen didn't want Men Qi to have to carry the title of traitor. Seeing Long Chen nod, Men Qi's grief turned into happiness. Thank you. Adopt Men Qi's cheeks. Two pearl-like tears still hung like raindrops on plum blossoms, a beauty that could not be reproduced. Men Qi, you really are beautiful. As soon as he said it, Long Chen regretted it. He wished to give himself a slap in the face. Just how many times had he said the same line already? Couldn't he change styles? However, Men Qi's beauty was simply breathtaking, making it so that no one would be able to restrain their emotions. Smelling her fragrance, Long Chen felt as if his mind had stopped working. Two faint red spots appeared on Men Qi's face, but she didn't get the slightest bit angry. Instead, she seemed happy. I bet you frequently go seduce girls like this. A facetious expression appeared on Men Qi's face. No, definitely not, exclaimed Long Chen. Even if he was beaten to death, he definitely couldn't admit to such a thing. Furthermore, he wasn't lying. When he seduced women, he definitely wouldn't use such a foolish method. Seeing that nervous expression, Men Qi laughed. Don't be so nervous. I heard from Chu Yao that in your monastery, you have a close female friend called Tang Wan or Long Chen's heart jumped. How could Chu Yao tell Men Qi about that? But then after he thought about it for just a moment, he was filled with gratitude towards Chu Yao. Chu Yao had told this to Men Qi so Men Qi could prepare herself. At the same time, it allowed Long Chen to probe Men Qi's intentions. If Men Qi truly was displeased, Chu Yao would have hinted at him about it. Since she hadn't hinted at him, that meant everything was moving in the right direction. Cough. Long Chen went through a coughing fit, warming his throat and giving himself time to prepare a speech. Hopefully, he could keep the damage to a minimum, and then everything would pass smoothly. But just as he was about to open his mouth, the sky suddenly darkened, and a huge figure threw itself at Long Chen. Chapter 380 Violet Phoenix Sparrow Translator Born to be Boom The sky darkened as a huge figure shot at them. That figure was too huge. It was like a small mountain smashing over. 
It was incredibly fast, and before Long Chen could react, it had opened its mouth and was in the process of biting down on them. That mouth was so large that even little snow could be swallowed by it. Careful, Long Chen pushed Men Qi out of the way. At the same time, he summoned his divine ring, and a star appeared in his eyes. A saber slashed at that huge mouth. Boom. A saber image dozens of meters long ruthlessly slashed onto that huge mouth. Both Long Chen and Little Snow were blown back hundreds of meters. Long Chen felt an ache in both his arms. He was appalled. He hastily turned to see just what it was that had sneak attacked them. When he saw that figure, his scalp turned numb. That was a huge bird 300 meters long. Its body was like a peacock whose long feathers were a bewitching violet color, and they shone with a metallic luster. Violet Phoenix Sparrow. Long Chen was horrified. This was a matured fifth rank Violet Phoenix Sparrow. Its flying speed was quick as lightning. Seeing that its sneak attack had failed, the Violet Phoenix Sparrow suddenly opened its mouth and spat out a blaze of violet flame, instantly encompassing a region of several miles. Long Chen and Little Snow had no chance to react. They were instantly engulfed by those violet flames. The distant Men Qi turned pale with fright. Long Chen. Men Qi had just been about to rush in when the flames disappeared, revealing Long Chen who was covered in blue flames. However, Little Snow had disappeared. Damn bird, you must want to die. Killing intent erupted from Long Chen. A fifth rank magical beast's attack was too powerful. If Long Chen hadn't placed Little Snow into his spiritual space in time, then that flame would have very likely killed him. But even so, Little Snow had been chaired all over. His fur had turned black, and his injuries were very heavy. Long Chen roared, and a huge saber image appeared out of Devil Decapitator, viciously slashing onto the Violet Phoenix Sparrow. Its huge wings shook, and one of them was like a huge cloud that smashed into Long Chen's saber image. With another intense explosion, the ground cracked. Long Chen was blown back by a powerful force. As for the Violet Phoenix Sparrow, it only lost a few feathers from blocking Long Chen's saber. It hadn't suffered any injury. Long Chen, we can't fight it head on. That's a fifth rank magical beast. We can't beat it. Seeing Long Chen be forced back but still valiantly charge at it again, Men Qi couldn't help worrying. Long Chen also knew that the most logical action would be to flee far, far away. But Little Snow had been heavily injured by its flames, causing Long Chen to feel immense distress. His fury overwhelmed his logic, and he had to kill this damn feathered brood. Long Chen crazily brandished Devil Decapitator at the Violet Phoenix Sparrow, infuriating it. Its huge feather shook the heavens, and it crazily attacked Long Chen. While Long Chen was fighting with the Violet Phoenix Sparrow, Chu Yao and Lu Fang are returned. Seeing Long Chen's scarlet eyes as he crazily fought, they couldn't help panicking. Sister, what should we do? Asked Chu Yao to Men Qi. Men Qi was also frantic. A fifth rank magical beast was something that surpassed their limits. There was no way they could defeat Churingon. But Long Chen's fury had already erupted out of his control and he wouldn't listen to anyone's advice. He was risking his life to attack this fifth rank magical beast. We have to help. Chu Yao, you help Long Chen, and Fang Er and I will use spiritual strength to disturb it. We'll see whether or not we'll have a chance of killing it. Since the situation had reached this point, they could only risk it. Chu Yao nodded and began rushing over to Long Chen. As for Lu Fang Er, she put away her scarlet blaze lion, in the face of a powerful fifth rank magical beast. It was unable to help at all. In fact, it might even be instantly killed. 10,000 wood thicket. Chu Yao began to form hand seals, and her wood energy quickly circulated. The ground split apart and thousands of wooden stakes grew out, looking like flexible tentacles, instantly binding the violet phoenix sparrow's two claws. Burning soul fury arrow. Men Qi and Lu Fang are both formed hand seals, and two translucent spiritual arrows shot out at the violet phoenix sparrow, instantly reaching its head. These spiritual arrows were immaterial attacks specialized in attacking the soul. Being hit by those two spiritual arrows, the Violet Phoenix Sparrow let out a mournful cry. Obviously this kind of attack was too difficult to resist for a magical beast. That was especially true for Men Qi's spiritual arrow, which had to be over ten times stronger than Lu Fang'er's. Long Chen. Now, Chu Yao's wooden stakes were tightly binding the Violet Phoenix Sparrow's claws. Now that it had also just received those spiritual arrows, this was the best moment to launch his strongest attack. Split the heavens. An icy shout rang out. A shout that seemed to come from above the nine heavens. A saber image slashed down like a huge divine blade, landing heavily onto the Violet Phoenix Sparrow's huge head. B-O-O-O-M. The Violet Phoenix Sparrow smashed into the ground, 
and a terrifying wave of ki directly blew back all three women. A huge crater dozens of miles wide appeared in the ground. At the bottom of that crater was the violet phoenix sparrow. It struggled up and stood. That caused Long Chen's body to be covered in icy sweat. A trickle of blood was flowing on the violet phoenix sparrow's head. But it clearly wasn't a fatal injury. That was Long Chen's absolute strongest attack. Even Yun Luo had to go all out to survive this attack. However, it was only able to leave something that could barely even count as an injury on the Violet Phoenix Sparrow. That caused Long Chen to immediately become much more cool-headed. You three withdraw first. I'll follow from behind. Seeing that the Violet Phoenix Sparrow had once more opened its mouth and pointed it at him, Long Chen hastily shouted out before fleeing in the opposite direction of Men Qi and the others. A violet flame instantly engulfed the fleeing Long Chen. That terrifying heat scorched the ground and melted all the rock. The now coke-like ground began to split apart. When the violet flames finally scattered, it revealed Long Chen once more covered in his blue flame. He had only fled the in the opposite direction so that this attack wouldn't reach Men Qi and the others. But now seeing that the three of them hadn't left and were still worriedly watching, Long Chen shouted, We can't beat this magical beast. So hurry up and run. I'll draw it away first, but I'll quickly join you later. But it's a flying magical beast. Men Qi was pale with fright. If it was a land-based magical beast, then it might be easy to throw off. But trying to draw away a flying magical beast was suicide. Don't worry, I'm confident. Long Chen made a gesture to be at ease and then rushed into the distance. As expected, the Violet Phoenix Sparrow immediately chased the brat who had injured him. It flew straight at Long Chen, a huge claw smashing down. Long Chen didn't even look back as he fled. He swung out Devil Decapitator, smashing it onto that huge claw. An immense force transmitted through that, and Long Chen began to fly through the air. Borrowing the Violet Phoenix Sparrow's force, Long Chen was like an arrow that had left the bow, instantly rushing into the distance. The Violet Phoenix Sparrow let out a long cry and its wings spread. It traveled dozens of miles in a flash, and it caught up to Long Chen in just a breath's time. Flying magical beasts were just too fast. Long Chen's spiritual strength circulated and a golden page turned into a golden light that slashed into the violet phoenix sparrow's head. The golden page cleanly cut through its scalp, and piercing into its skull. Seeing this attack was effective, Long Chen was delighted. The golden page's sharpness was able to cut gold and slice jade. It was enough to cut apart the violet phoenix sparrow's head, but then his expression quickly changed. He was appalled to realize that once the golden page entered the violet phoenix sparrow's skull, his connection to it grew extremely faint. He panicked and hastily used his spiritual strength to pull it out. But at this time, he realized that the flesh around the page was like a barrier isolating his spiritual strength. Now the page was stuck in its thick skull, and he was unable to extract it. Boom. The violet phoenix sparrow once more spat out its fierce violet flame, and Long Chen once more summoned his pill flame to protect him. But even so, he still felt a scorched feeling. Quite a few blisters had started to rise from his skin causing Long Chen to grimace in pain. The fact that he hadn't managed to kill the Violet Phoenix Sparrow, and instead had caused the Golden Page to become stuck in its head, infuriated Long Chen so much that he repeatedly swore. He hadn't gotten Little Snow his revenge, and instead ended up losing a trump card. Furthermore, this Violet Phoenix Sparrow had become completely enraged by Long Chen. It seemed as if it wouldn't rest until Long Chen was completely exterminated. Most importantly, no matter how Long Chen tried to increase his speed, the Violet Phoenix Sparrow's wings would just quiver slightly and it would easily catch up. Wanting to shake it off was just fantasy. I can only use it. Long Chen clenched his teeth and held his breath. He waited for an opportunity, and when the Violet Phoenix Sparrow's chest puffed slightly, he raised his hand and chucked out an egg-sized ball at mouth. Once that thing appeared, the air was filled with a disgusting stench. Furthermore, the Violet Phoenix Sparrow had just opened its mouth in preparation of spitting out its flames again. But before it could, that small ball exploded inside its mouth. A light green liquid splashed inside its mouth, and incomparable stink instantly exploded. Boom. The Violet Phoenix Sparrow crashed onto the ground, crazily struggling. A huge crater was blown into the ground by it. It was constantly vomiting, and the stench in the air grew even worse. At this time, the Violet Phoenix Sparrow no longer even cared about Long Chen, and so he took that chance to flee. When Long Chen finally found Men Qi and the others, he was burnt black in many places and appeared extremely miserable. However, seeing that he was alive allowed the three of them to relax. Long Chen summoned Little Snow out of his spiritual space, 
All his snow-white fur had burnt to ashes and even his skin looked like charcoal now. Blood slowly trickled out of some places, and his injuries were extremely wretched. Fuck, we definitely have to get revenge for this. Long Chen ground his teeth. Seeing Little Snow's miserable condition caused his heart to clench. Chu Yao hastily circulated her spiritual key to help heal Little Snow. With Chu Yao present, Little Snow's injuries weren't anything major. They just looked frightening. In just two hours, Little Snow's injuries were healed. However, his snow white fur would still need some time to grow out again. Let's go Little Snow. We need to find its nest. Long Chen told Little Snow to use his nose to find the Violet Phoenix Sparrow's nest. Now it wasn't so simple as just getting revenge for Little Snow. He had to also get back that golden page. He still didn't know what important information was written on it. Three days later, Little Snow brought the four of them to the foot of a mountain. They could see a huge bird nest a hundred miles away. Excellent. It'll be easy now that we've found the nest. All of you wait for me here. I'll go bring some reinforcements to eliminate this feathered brood. Long Chen told the three women to look after Little Snow and then began rushing into the distance alone. 